Yeah. Yo. What's going on? No fans. I don't know why the uh, transition didn't work there, but shocker. Something not working. Normally, we try to fix it beforehand. Yeah, but it was... Or, or it's usually... Auto- it's already automated, so it should look good. And your hair does look amazing, by the way, Oni. Thank you. I think the lighting does really help. You never cease to amaze me with how well you take care of that. Part of it is just pure luck, not going to lie. I have done some really gutsy things, like dying shit, like the hour before I'm supposed to be leaving for work. <laughs> okay, maybe not that close, <laughs> pretty close. With dyes I've never used before, but... Yeah, just know what you're doing, guys. Know what you're doing. Always. So she... Let's do the intro. So she is the scotch tape of lagging out that has the greatest hair out of all four of us. Please welcome Black Light Oni. Her hair looks like a black... She looks like a video game character, which is pretty appropriate. I can live with that. And he is the beautifully bearded bastard. He's also our IT specialist. Please welcome Hero. Ew. Oh. Thank you, Hito Sura, for the follow. Hito Sura, that's actually a friend of mine I just sent the link to. Oh. I do have hair, but I shave it every week. Oh, Lord. He is the only co host that runs at 60 frames a second. He says more. He doesn't, if he says more than 10 words, it's amazing. Please welcome. Soda pop. Hey. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will say, Soda, that, that me and you, we, we had a pretty engaging col- conversation leading up to the stream tonight. So I know you talk. Just Of course I talk if I can get for it some in. Reason, for some <laughs> reason, you never <laughs> talk <laughs> during the stream. <laughs> I, I have to get it in. Is it like... Is that what she said? Uh, that's where I was giggity, going. Giggity, 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 giggity. And of course, I am Chieftain. With the newly Lego build that I do with my seven-year-old, I think he's six, six-year-old nephew. The uh, Scout Trooper right there. The ones that proudly kill Ewoks. That's right. They're doing Killing doing the Ewoks work. since 1988. Um, but yeah. So yeah, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get something all in caps in the chat pretty soon. I have a feeling. Can I make a special uh, shout out? Uh, sure. Go ahead. Uh, Badger, tell Dad happy birthday. I'll call him tomorrow. It's his birthday tomorrow. Oh. Uh, so happy yeah, if if you think I'm cool, birthday. which I, if you think I'm cool and I'm not saying I'm cool because I am not, my dad is cool, and my. <laughs> My mom's birthday is uh, not anywhere in this month, so sorry, mom. I can't shout out to you, but I miss you guys. <laughs> well, you did, anyways. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see. Open speaker notes, so that way I know what I'm talking. Thank about. you. That good job Ooh. on the topics, you guys. I appreciate you for doing that. It <laughs> it makes me less stressful and puts color in my face. I try. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. All right, there we go. Yay. Gotta love that 3D animated shield with the uh mental ray flakes. You gotta love that, right? I do. <laughs> the one who would understand that is soda pop. That <laughs> is teaches, true. Because he teaches Maya. <laughs> but uh yeah, it's just like the little metal flake in there, like that I can't use anymore because mental ray is no longer inside of the 3D software that I have. But um, I do have news for Oni. Oni, I do have the 3D files to make your helmet. So I will get you my head measurements. The Luke, the Luke Skywalker helmet uh, that I have to build. Um, I want to do a I want to do a Bandalorian with a braided bandit. I still want to do like a helmet with her. Uh, I think that'd be great. But I don't. I, I just send it to her for shits and giggles. But that's a long that's a that's a long project to do just for shits and giggles. But uh. But yeah, anyways. Uh, I'm looking through my glasses. Well, if you made it right, you can make it for her um, paintball. Yes, if I had the proper material. Um, sure, it has specs to it, but I mean, yeah. that would be cool shit. They have a Mandalorian Kevlar helmet. 
which it looks completely badass. Test, test, test. Okay, we now, hear you. It wasn't working for a second there. Oh, no. <laughs> we just want to thank everybody for uh, watching our show tonight. And if you are watching and you're putting us in a tab, turn up the volume just a little bit for us so we can get that view. We really appreciate it. Yeah. And uh, if you guys can do that, that would make our night. And thank you for the lurk, for all the lurkers out there. And we're going to try our best to respond to the chat. But once we have like a lot of the hosts talking over each other and trying to get <laughs> a word in edgewise, it's really hard to respond to the chat. So Hero, Soda, and myself will respond inside the chat um, a little bit more than just on the lives, letting you guys know that we are here. We, we hear you. We see you, and they're all going <laughs> to hear us soon. Um, I can't do Bush. That's one one of the voices I can't do. Oh, is that who that was? Uh, but yeah, I couldn't I, tell I, what I, it was going for. Yeah, I, I like that. That's that's part of my uh, state of the gaming. I go into like eight different voices. It's a nightmare. I put I, I put Azers on notice. Board. Oh, that's just nasty. Um, but yeah, so thank you so much. We appreciate you guys. You just gotta be like, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Not. Not gonna do it. <laughs> Wouldn't be prudent at this juncture. There you go. I don't like broccoli. Um, that's the older. That's the older bush. People are like who? The, like zennials and millennials. I'm like who the fuck was that? Um, but yeah, let me just. I need another monitor. I have so many windows overlapping. It's fucking ridiculous. All right. So a little bit of maintenance here, guys. We just dropped a video. That means you need to go to YouTube.com. Right slash lagging out and you can see that little sign behind me right there that's there for a fucking reason <laughs> to say i'm a little frustrated is understating how frustrated i am with our youtube channel we put a lot of work into the videos guys and we really really appreciate it if you can go by and like drop a like um drop a comment share it with your friends um, it's greatly appreciated. We put a lot, a lot of work. We have like we have an Emmy award winning, an Emmy award winning editor working on our editing on our show. I can't talk today. It's <laughs> hard. Um, We're not yeah, mad at the viewers. We're. I'm not mad. I'm frustrated at fucking YouTube for fucking up. But I mean, who's shocked by that YouTube being YouTube? Yeah. Hate to I say sent it. an e I, There's a link I put inside the chat. But I sent. I also sent uh, an email to Hero. I got. Uh, I watched the video. <laughs> oh, I don't know why you I, sent the email to me, but I I got the video and I watched it. <laughs> yeah, the um, what I what I sent you was the uh, the new laws and stuff. Like maybe you can decipher oh, the algorithm for me. Yeah, that's so, what I, I saw that and I was like, hmm, I'm. This must be important. I'm going to read it in a little bit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's important. Uh, I'm like, I can't figure this out. I'm giving it to him. <laughs> I'm going to share also, with you, Chieftain, since you were talking about helmets and stuff, I had to share with you the day that my daughter decided to pick up my, uh, my CVC helmet, which is the helmets that we wore inside the Bradley fighting vehicles. Uh, when I was in the army and my daughter had picked it up and put it on and it had my name tape across the front of it, the unit patches on the side and she's sitting there talking into the microphone like she was talking to people. <laughs> That's funny. That's adorable. <laughs> and patriotic. Yes. So speaking, of... Wear... <laughs> speaking of, great segue there, Hero. I'm not sure if that <laughs> was intentional or not, but we're just going to assume it was. But I'll try. Uh, yeah, I I have my dad's uh, old uh, National Guard jacket that I'll wear on vet, not Veterans Day, but some sort of like patriotic day. But I want to let people know it's not stolen valor. It's my dad's jacket that he gave to me. So before you get all pissy about that, it's like Cold War era jacket. So it's the old camo. It's not even the digi cam. Oh, man. So, You're talking uh, BDUs. Yeah, like the 80s. 80s early 90s type of gear it, it barely fits me because i have longer arms i got arms of orangutan <laughs> but, uh, um, but i unfold the sleeve so it, it's longer but don't forget if you have cigars and you're a lover of cigars so 
are our warriors overseas. So a lot of stress over there now. So you can go to cigarsforwarriors.org and find out a local drop-off area in your town and drop off your cigars today. That's cigarsforwarriors.org. I'm getting good at these reads, guys. I'm pretty proud of myself. Um, oh, there we go. And I, another thing, I, I did a lot of work this week. So uh, we have new bit emotes. I know last week or two weeks ago, we had new subscriber emotes. But now we have bit emotes, so let me describe to you. The basic one is, since one bit is basic, I kept that as the same. The 100 bits is our new logo, the lagging out entertainment logo with the three bars, which which you cannot see the lagging out logo um, there. The 1,000 bits is the one that we don't even use anymore. It's the retro one um, from 2013, from 10 years ago. So if you do 1,000 bits, you get to have that one. And then the untouchable one, which we probably will never get. So I didn't do any more than 5,000. It's the bronze shield badge, our logo, but it's in bronze. And that's for 5,000 bits. So we have custom bits for you guys because you guys were asking for it. And of course, Chieftain was up till two in the morning doing all the stupid shit. So hooray for me. It's not stupid, but I know you guys appreciate it. So I put the extra mile in. And I'm also updating the subscriber but uh, the subscriber badges as well, they're going to be multicolored lagging out logos like the, th- the hundred bitch, but they're going to be blue, orange, like taste the rainbow type of colors, depending on how many months you have been <laughs> a subscriber of our awesome channel. So we appreciate you. So I hope you guys like those logos. I'm not sure if you like them or not, but I like them. and That's all that matters. <laughs> I like that. That's a good reason. <laughs> um. Another another thing here is uh, we had a death in if you like wrestling as much as I liked wrestling and we were talking about this beforehand. Scott Hall passed away this week, guys. It's rough. The bad guy passed away. It's rough. Um, the guy you love to hate the WWE, Scott Hall, or his early persona was Razor Ramon. He passed away from uh, hip surgery, um, routine hip surgery where um he, I don't know what happened, but there was some complications with the sur- he got an infection and he died, unfortunately. Yeah. So heart goes our hearts go out to um all his friends in the wrestling business, including uh one of my neighbors, Big Sexy Kevin Nash. Uh he lives in Ponce Inlet. Uh cheap name drop there. But he doesn't know who <laughs> I am, but hopefully after this he will. <laughs> I ra- I ran into him in the uh airport. But anyway, uh he had a really great saying and this is the clip from his WWE Hall of Fame induction uh, ceremony. So he had a great speech, and I really want the staff to listen to this because it's very important. Um, it has a very important message. So, uh, like here, here's what a like a very great poignant point made from the late great Scott Hall. In my lifetime, I've learned. Kind of loses it a little bit. I love that. I can't hear it all. Hard work pays (laughs) off. Dreams come true. Bad times don't last. But bad guys do. I heard about that. Oh, that was, it's such a great, just a great, great, great um, speech. And he had his demons too. Um, Just like everyone else, he had struggles with alcoholism and he went to DDP yoga, which is Diamond Dallas Page was a a pro wrestler that got into yoga and it saved his life. And uh, he really turned his life around, which means is the guys, no matter how bad your life is, there's there's always somebody worse. So if this guy can come back from the depths of hell and come all the way back from alcoholism and an addiction and come back and have a good few years left from doing that, you guys can do the same. So, and there is no success without struggle. Yes, um, bad times don't last forever. So that's pretty poignant in today's day and age, of course. Um, I'd say. Uh, so just remember, bad times don't last forever but the bad guys do. That's why I'm still here. So, 
Um, <laughs> but yeah, any comments about Scott Hall? You guys have any comments about it that you want to like share some sort of memory, or do you guys want to move on to another topic? Um, I want to smack him a few times. <laughs> you want to smack him a couple of times? I, I almost did. was gonna do a paper. I was almost gonna put um, not a paper clip, but a, a toothpick, and, and do like a close up of me going and just throwing it at the screen. I thought that'd have been funny, but it's a uh, hey yo, <laughs> you know that just sticks in the head forever, and you just want to smack him. And he was always a bad guy, you know that kind of shit. Yeah, hey I, yo, I always loved uh, Scott Hall, and I'll be honest, you I love never, to hate him. I never knew him by the name Scott Hall. Like Razor literally, movie. literally when yeah. I heard that Scott Hall passed away, I'm like, wait a minute, who is this? And I Razor had to do a quick, like, look at the article that I saw and I was like, well, no shit. This is a bad day in history right now. Ugh. It, it was, the... I've always known him as Razor Ramon. So technically <sighs> I, I'm not They're really back. a sports person and I, Certainly didn't watch WWE when he was active because part of it was I was way too young if I was even Probably, born yet. Yeah. But uh, hearing you wouldn't even have been born, probably. No, because yeah, like, our... was it two thousands, nineties, mid nineties, two thousands, eighties, nineties. He he started getting active around the eighties and early nineties eras when he really started rising up and and basically he and a small group of of wrestlers are really putting wrestling back on the map is basically Mm -hmm. how i i was told it happened but anytime i hear of someone who not only has seen greatness made greatness but they've also seen great strife whether that was self-inflicted or not but then they They made more from that. They didn't just let it define them. I not only have an immense amount of respect for that, but there is a lot of humanity in that. You know, these are people who have loved, they've lost, and they had to learn how to love again. And. Uh, alcoholism is a topic very close to my heart. Mm-hmm. Uh, so a lot of people don't know that, but yeah, it's it's, it's a very it's a very big deal, and I think my generation is going to, if they don't know it yet, some of them will see some of the effects. Um, but that it's never too late to turn your life around. Sometimes it just takes that right nudge in the right direction sometimes it takes that one wake-up call but try not to let that wake-up call be at the cost of someone or something you love that's Mm. all i could ever hope for but i just when i saw this happen i i wanted to share that because something about it given given his 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 place in wwe wrestling and history in general i i I knew someone was going to connect to him and uh it's always it's always a loss in oh yeah in the community when someone of this caliber passes away and, and to an extent right. of something that may seem just so simple you know a, a surgery now granted yes surgeries are very major but the fact that it could be at any time in any place What legacy do you want to leave? Mm -hmm. How do you want to be remembered? We're not going to remember him as a man who, you know, always had clean hands or as a man who only ever struggled. We're going to see him as a very real but very passionate man. A man who left a, a mark not only in wrestling but in many people's lives, whether he knew them or not. Yeah. That's so true. I've always said if I ever run into these guys, like Scott Hall, Hulk Hogan, uh, any of these guys, I'd go up to them and say thank you, and it'd be like they would either they would say yes, uh, or they'd either say um, thank you or why. I go well, you got me through college on Monday nights when I had a stressful week. 
I would watch <laughs> Monday Nitro for like I would record uh, Monday Nitro, watch Raw live, and I watch five hours of wrestling of both things on Monday nights. I was up till one in the morning watching everything, and if it um, if the chat remembers, like if you ever see my entrance video for uh, uh, my. It, when it starts out as campers, it's like a black and white intro for for me. Does if anyone ever remembers that? That's what Scott Hall did. Like the original video was an entrance wrestling video for the NWO, and I tried to make the filters look like what Scott Hall, Hulk Hogan, and Kevin Nash did. It was kind of a little bit of an homage to them. And if you ever see our LOL shirts, that's the NWO. Um, it's kind of inspired from the NWO. It's not the exact design, but it's inspired from these guys that created those shirts, which was a huge stable in the nineties, the bad yep. guys, you know? So like if <laughs> anyone knows, like that's why I put LO, like what's that? It's like lagging out Legion. It's like, it looks like the NWO logo. I go, yes, but it's just different enough. So we don't get sued. So. <laughs> and who doesn't, who doesn't love a great villain? Look, right. th this, who this, this in particular is, it's almost as big of an impact to me as uh, the loss of The Undertaker's partner, Paul Bearer. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, yes, The Undertaker. <laughs> <laughs> that dude was so iconic, as iconic as The Undertaker himself. Totally um, was. And, uh, you know, in, in another bit of trivia, <laughs> hint, hint, um, we all know, uh, well, some of us would know that the undertaker officially retired last year in the middle of the summer. It was wow. his, his official retirement. And it was right about this time, maybe, maybe a few months away. Um, I remember that because it, and the reason why I remember it is because it is the, it, the interviews conducted around that time are the very first times that you see this man in public out of character. The very first time ever Some since dude. Yeah. Ever since he started third, what is it? 20, almost 30 years ago in wrestling. Mm -hmm. Ever since he started from the time he got on camera for the first time until now, he was always in character. Oh yeah. Except that one time when he was the American badass, when he come down with the choppers, which everyone like cringe, but I liked the care. I liked the persona change, but no one else liked it. I, I thought did it a was a power okay. bomb called the last ride. But, yep. um, I think someone bought his original entrance garb, like everything. And like, they showed it to him. I was like, you mind if I see if it still fits? He's like, oh, it still fits. <laughs> so it was kind of cool. The Undertaker's but, um, huge, though. So, like, yeah, if any, but, I don't think anybody older, else would be able to fit that. <laughs> yeah, he was Dr. Isaac. I think he was Dr. Isaac Yankum. No, was that uh, Kane? That might have been Kane. I was going to say, that, that, that seems like Kane. Cause, yeah, it's Kane. Uh, yeah. But, Undertaker yeah. never. I, I don't think he really changed his persona too terribly much. Okay. So we will miss you, Scott Hall. We always going to miss the bad guy that we love to hate. So hopefully you're up there Amen. with Andre the Giant and Randy Savage and the Ultimate Warrior wrestling in heaven's king of the ring there. So God bless you and Godspeed. Scott Hall. Amen. <laughs> he actually had a phrase that apparently... My dad has used a lot. I don't know if my dad was ever a hey, wrestling guy, but it was, there's only ever been one perfect man and we nailed him to a cross, which was always, yeah, that was something that Scott Hall said his, uh, I can't remember who it was, but they interviewed him and they were like best buds from start to finish. I mean, my, I don't think my dad ever watched it. So, but my dad, you know, grew up Catholic. So maybe he, osmosis you know some convergent thought or something <laughs> but i mean where's where's the lie it's like you know you, no one's perfect we are all flawed um, it's just whether or not we are honest enough to admit that we are flawed i see you pulled uh you pulled a subject out of the slides yes are you they sure it's not mk ultra no i'm, I'm he, kidding he, he pulled uh, i'm I, I'm I'm poking fun because I think uh, I think Chieftain might have unintentionally did something here. 
<laughs> um, why was that supposed to, not a subject that we're talking about? No, it's it's actually part of the slideshow that I did up for the IT oh, breakdown. Oh, sorry. Um, I will switch out then. Spoiler alert. Um, <laughs> Avert thine eyes. Okay. okay, no worries. No, it's no big deal. I wasn't confused. Um, I have all this these extra ones that show the speed and stuff like that. Okay. Well, we're probably we're gonna have to use. I'm back. <laughs> We're going to have to use okay. uh, some of those um, Sorry, that specs that you pulled up there, uh, Chief, because I didn't go into detail in my slides. That's no problem. Yeah, um, I will try my best to flip back and forth. <laughs> if if it's too hard, don't be afraid to say no. No, I, I'll, I'll, I'll know it's... I'll, pushed, yeah. I'll do the movie magic behind the scenes. <laughs> and mm -hmm. Just what's going on in my head is like firing everywhere. It's fine. Yeah, but I see the hard. smoke. I, I do see yeah. the smoke. I try yeah. I try to play it calm and cool for everybody in the chat and everything like that. So I don't want them like I, I have like major panic mode. I try to it's the ADHD. I had to have a, a certain script for stuff. Otherwise, I kind of I've learned how to handle it by breathing, but <laughs> uh, it's hard. But uh, here this is a subject uh, that you were talking about that I have no idea. I'm not sure how I'm going to get involved in this so i'm just gonna sit back and um, listen to the geniuses talk about this but perfect dark development team quitting what's this all about guys so there's a lot there i'm gonna i'm gonna trust me only i'm gonna let you talk because it was your fault that i found it and i'm thankful that you did find it <laughs> thank you badger for that last comment uh i <laughs> i i am a huge uh golden eye perfect dark fan i abused the fuck out of my n64 playing these games and um <laughs> and, and and I just I can't I can't not talk about it. So apparently and I just found out that Perfect Dark is has got a new development it, it's coming out with a, they're doing a new game. It's been in development hell apparently for a while, which I'm not surprised I didn't hear about it because Perfect Dark was a very underdogish game it was a spiritual successor to 007 the people that knew the game existed loved the game um well, they, the people, they haven't made a game in what like 12 years now uh since the 360 that i know of okay yeah I, I i don't know if they had other games come out since then but uh the last game that i recall was i think it was called perfect dark midnight or something like that and it was more of an origin story of the characters from the original perfect dark but it in my opinion that game the 360 game was garbage in comparison to the um to the game that came out on the 64 i i don't i played it i had fun with it but it just to me it didn't hold a candle to the to the flame of it of the original um <clears throat> Anybody who's played it in, in the chat, feel free to jump in and tell me I'm trash for saying that it was trash. <laughs> um, I mean, it sounds more well, like, like... It, it sounds like a Duke Nukem situation in terms of your feelings going on. Like everyone, everyone who's played a Duke Nukem game, from what I heard, loved the original Duke Nukem games. And then when Duke Nukem came, Forever came out, they were like, what the fuck is this? Well, it, I feel Soda, like... Soda, what are you going to say? What are you going to say, Soda? Sorry. Oh, I was going to say that was 20 something years ago, though, right? The original? The original, yeah, it was oh. on the 64. So you're yeah. you're pretty close to right. If you're not right, I'd be surprised. <laughs> oh, Nick, go ahead, finish your thought. Um, oh, sorry, no. go ahead, Soda. Will you finish? Go ahead. Yeah, I'm good. I just... go. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> Oni, go ahead and finish your thought. Sorry, just it, it seems kind of like a it's okay. Duke Nukem Forever kind of situation. Mm -hmm with development hell and not really actually telling a better story. It just feel not adding anything fresh or new kind of almost more like because it didn't go forward. It feels like a step back or a lot of steps so, back. So from what I can gather on this and I've done minimal research, I, I, I don't know if I get a lot of insight from the research I do, I don't even know but if there is anything out there. There's nothing out there that I've been able to see. Uh, apparently, this game was assigned to a group within 
I don't remember what what uh what development team it was assigned to, but the people that were working on it within the last year or so, they've more than half of the original team has jumped ship, citing too much micromanagement, not enough um not enough creative freedom, you know, all the things that you hear from the creative types that don't like to be micromanaged, which is probably most every creative type. I, I don't know about you, uh, Chieftain, but do you like it when you got people with fingers in your Kool-Aid? No. <laughs> what and about you, sir? I just want to let everybody know, I just I want everybody know I we're having it. really bad storms here, guys. So if we go offline, it's because lightning strikes and we'll be back on and give us like two minutes to come back on. Because I just heard like a lot of rain and thunder where I am. Just letting you guys know my internet is not on a battery backup, but my computer is like you give a shit. But, <laughs> um so it's going to take like two minutes to come back on. So I'm just going to let everybody in the stream know, like I'm in Florida. This is what happens. So, yep. but we're almost I don't want, to that. I don't want people putting their fingers in. I don't want, I don't like people double dipping on in my, my dip, you know? No, I don't like. No, that. it's first of all, it's gross. And second of all, it's annoying. <laughs> yeah. My nephews haven't figured that out yet. Ew. But, uh, so I'm like, it's all yours. It's yours now. <laughs> But yeah, th this is what I've been hearing um, and what I've seen. I've, I've referenced, uh, thank you, Oni, for showing me Young Yee's video on the topic. Um, the What I've also found out is that somehow, some way, Crystal Dynamics has gotten brought into the mix, which Crystal Dynamics, hearing the name right now, makes certain people on our host team here cringe. I know this well because they are responsible for the debacle known as um, the Avengers. Um, oh, yeah, that would be Oni. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you want you want to know a couple reasons why? You want to for starters, they had a great reputation. They had a great reputation. Now, now let me inject something here, Oni. A great M, er, the a great reputation when it comes to single player games. Okay. Okay. Come at me, I fucking dare you. However, they also had like five companies involved in the making of that fucking video game. And on top of that, saw that nightmare coming a mile away. Also, cannot stress this enough. They had Eidos Montreal stop working on the next Deus X video game for that shit. Still bitter. That's how you say that. I never knew how to say that name. Okay. De <laughs> Deus Ex is Latin. It's actually part of a phrase, Deus Ex Machina, which was used in their theater. Well, it was actually used in Greek theater. I asked for it. Go ahead. Yeah, you kind of did. Greek theater, <laughs> would use, Greek theater would use it because whenever they had a play and it involved either uh, supernatural forces or the gods... It would be, they would use a very complex mechanism basically to have this actor lifted up from like a, a, a tall place to look like they're, they're a god. And basically, it means, um, I think it's like based, like machine of the gods. Um, so, and, and when it comes to literary devices, it's basically a MacGuffin. It's this thing that you, you can pull it out of your ass and, and you just suddenly oh. wind up, you know, saving the day. It's, it is this so difficult to describe when Chieftain is losing his shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think you need to, uh, like, literally pull it out of your ass or like. No, no, it's metaphorically no, speaking. No, no, metaphorically oh, okay, speaking, okay. It's, like it's... when I pull shit out of my ass and we end up with a show. <laughs> it's it's, it's okay. kind of like, it's like getting the end game weapon at the beginning of the game. Or starting off with your end game stats that. at the beginning of the game. So you just. So I'm going to shout out enemies. my buddy Hitsura here. Hitsura says, Deus Ex Machina, God from Machine. Damn it, I had it backwards. Ooh. Oh, she was wrong! Oh, oh no! Gonna, oh, hey, God, hey, was hey, absolutely hold up, hold up. wrong. To be fair, I've been wrong be fair, a lot. To be fair, Hitsura is a plethora mm -hmm. of near useless <sighs> information. I'm joking, by the way. I love you, dude. But he comes up with all kinds of information. He is very, very familiar with myths, legends, and religions. And when it comes to crazy 
like little known terms and other language based terms, he's gonna pull it out out of his ass like I don't know a, a magic friend. bag of holding Put a muscle. Be my friend. Icon in there. Be my friend. <laughs> friend me on Discord, please. But um, anyways, so I, mean, I fucking dare you. <laughs> so <Wrong> so. <laughs> he says I'm not wrong. Now that guy's probably married. Uh, Chieftain's like weird Cupid. He's maybe he's just projecting. Don't worry. I, I, he wishes she's... his love. He wishes his love were here. N another another strange fact about him is I'm I'm pretty sure that he's happily single. <laughs> You know, I can't be mad at that. <laughs> Given what you see in humanity, it's just like... No. <laughs> anyway, so back to Perfect Dark there. Uh, yes, Crystal Dynamics is has somehow had this project land in, in their lap. Uh, from a lot of what I've seen, there's this weird background political bullshit. It's been in development hell... Um, and by po political bullshit, I mean corporate politics, not... not That's bureaucratic, not, then. That's... Yeah. I mean, still still some bullshit, but it's a different type of bullshit. Yeah, it, it's bullshit <sighs> nonetheless. But uh, apparently the original uh, developers, like I said, they're complaining about the lack of creative freedom and stuff like that. Microsoft has come into possession of a lot of studios recently um i'm taking a line kind of from young Yi here it's something that he pointed out and the studios that are under them now have not had a lot of time to develop their own company and development team culture so i guess crystal dynamics somehow got brought in to oversee things and there's people going no you need to do this you're doing this wrong you're doing this wrong nitpicking shit so it's pissing people off um on the one hand i would agree when i hear hey taking longer on a game isn't necessarily a bad thing but on the other hand i would also say that we've seen this before and this is not a good sign necessarily cyberpunk <laughs> Cyberpunk, so, Duke Nukem. I I've not seen hardly anything from Copy this new paste game from last week. <laughs> I I've not really seen anything coming out of the studios for um, for advertising or saying, "Hey, we're making progress. Here's some Stop progress pics." Oh, God, <laughs> let's not Unisol, talk. Unisol says exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just not I'm not sure what to make of it because again this poster that you brought up this image that you brought up looks yeah. about like the only it is the only thing I've seen on this project so far I was so, so disappointed with the cyberpunk even with the fixes you know says and and I'm uh, sorry they, they I'm, I'm it, sorry what, two weeks ago? Oh. said Every year, uh, every year earlier is bad, and every subsequent year makes it worse. You know, so it says, yeah, and I spent so much money on it! Exclamation point! Like seven of them, like <laughs> four exclamation points. No, and and you, yeah, I know some people do really like those games, and that's great. The frustration that I have secondhand because I don't invest in a lot of these games, partly because I don't see the point. Because they don't seem to, I don't feel like they deserve my money, even if I had an interest in giving them my money. It's the fact that there are, it's not just a minority of people having dis buyer's remorse. It's a lot of gamers having buyer's remorse, being disappointed in this investment. Not just in money, but in time. That game came out when I was still living in the state of Georgia. Which one was that? In like, Georgia. That was Cyberpunk 2077. Oh, that was yeah. over a year ago. I, and yet it's... Mods are the only things making it even worth playing at this point from what I'm gathering. It, it's like Fallout 76. They promise all of this and then they just... 
uh, they not only dropped the ball, they just let it, they just dug it a hole and just watched it go. Like, fuck it, let's just watch the shit show. It's like, no, you're supposed to be developing it. It's your job. <laughs> it's your job. It's why I give you money. But I, I just... I don't know. I, I have <sighs> Cyberpunk 2077, and like I always say, um, eventually I'm going to go back and play it. I was waiting for all the fixes to come out, and uh, I but booted that's it the up. Thing. I booted it up on accident the other day, and I went, "Oh, ah, hey, a- yeah." Unisol it is. kind of, Unisol kind of like paraphrased uh, Oni's comment about like the tryhard awards. It's like they advertise oftenness and deliver absolute crap. Yep, <laughs> they did put out patch one point five like two, three weeks ago, so it's probably worth yeah. checking out again. I, I, I booted it up on accident, and yes, I said accident intentionally, because I, I was trying to actually get ready for a stream, and when I booted it up and it loaded up all the all the stuff, it gave me a bunch of messages saying that your skills have been reset, your weapon mods and, and, and armor mods got reset, we've revamped everything, and it That's looked... That's what scares me about Destiny 2. It, it looked amazing. That's why like, everybody... Like, I hate... Like, Unisol always dragged me through it because I never had the nice... I, like, when everything gets reset, it's just, like... it. It's frustrating for me who doesn't play yeah. every day anymore. Right. Like, it's not geared towards the person, the casual. You know, the guy who actually works 55 hours a week. So. It's like <laughs> playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Once you get to a certain point, if you don't have the, the newest booster decks, you don't have the newest game cards... Winning is going to be so much more difficult, especially if it's not even a game you play religiously. Like once Synchro oh. Monsters came out, once Synchro Monsters came out in Yu-Gi-Oh, I, there was no way I could win. Like I wasn't even good to begin with, okay? But I could at least stall and make you suffer and hate every moment of your victory, which made yeah, me feel pretty good. But with Synchro Monsters, because you basically have like three different tuner monsters and they don't even have to match, just as long as one of them is the tuner you need, you then get a, like a seven, eight star monster on the field. I'm like, the fuck is this shit? And yet Yu-Gi-Oh wants to ban Dark Hole. Dark Hole is perfectly fair. Giga, Everyone giga, loses giga, everything. Giga, giga, <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm off my soapbox. I swear. No, I just okay. Yeah, I'm not I, I just, here right I'm, now. I'm going to do a graphic Hello, for you. Child. I swear to God, it's going to be a countdown meter. And uh, it's going to ah. just, for, for, it's for everybody if we're going too long. I go to that image and it has like a little timer ah. on the bottom. Yeah, and then like it's the image slowly starts getting red, kind of like when you get shot in Call of Duty. And then at the end, it's going to go like, na, 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 and like. You should, you should do it as, um, oh my gosh, what was his name? It's welcome. Odd jobs. Odd, Odd jobs. Job random or active uh, or random task from uh. Yeah. Or jewels. <gasps> you know he. You know he. You know he got. He actually murdered somebody. Who? What? The guy oh. Odd job. He's actually murdered Ooh. somebody. Or oh, was it random task? The guy from uh. Stop! Stop! Awesome stop. Come here, buddy. Anyways, that's going off. Stop talking. <laughs> hey, hey, be nice to her. Get muted. <laughs> <laughs> she's the anti-chieftain <laughs> yeah you know you, you know how you got your hero and anti-hero she's the anti-chieftain yeah. <laughs> okay there we go i'm trying to catch up on the chat here um amazon wishlist no that's the stream labs uh no they did cyberpunk blah 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 actinova sup oni sup guys says actinova hey. hito hey. says uh he- hito is that how I say it? Uh, me? What about me? T- tuner Tito. Spike basically turns oh. Swarm into Heavy Quick. Uh, and then everyone's saying hello to your kid. You know what's <laughs> funny? And then ah. uh, Gunasol goes, um, the kid. And it's like, yes, um, the kid. <laughs> if you put your name and your friend's name, like the first half of it together, yeah. it's yeah. Hirohito. <laughs> which is really fucked up um yep. just a quick reminder guys if you want to play sounds you guys can play sounds um in the chats you can do that as well and if you're a subscriber you get more access to more sounds so also we have uh, a tip menu 
uh, for lag coins. If you want us, uh, one of us to shut up for five minutes, there's a mute a mouth feature. <laughs> there's also the fedora, the fedora challenge for the hundred bits Stop. and the headdress. So you got to direct. If you're donating a hundred bits, you got to let us know. Am I wearing a headdress or is Hero wearing a fedora? Well, it looks like we're all drinking water. Okay. Yeah, we'll drink fat-free water. Tea counts. Dr. Pepper. Cheers. Phoenix, come Except on. you, you're going to get some nice, nice sleepy Benadryl. Sweet. I was thinking oh. maybe some rum on her gums. There we go. <laughs> Chieftain knows what I'm talking about there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I. You know, it's, it's honestly just a shame with Perfect Dark, just to close out on that topic. Fair enough. It doesn't have to be that way. You're you know, right, and, right. and again, with all the, the restructuring going on with a lot of American companies, and I'm, I'm talking about American companies right now, not the Japanese side of the house. If one of the mods can just do exclamation point sounds just for not, a tip menu for people, I don't have the... Uh, Phoenix. I don't have that. Oh, I made it on a timer yet. Don't get me wrong. I understand when you join a new team, you know, yeah, leadership needs to, you know, figure out where the reins are but at the same time you're speaking to professionals these are people who probably aren't on their first rodeo so are you referring to us or perfect dark perfect dark okay i wasn't so, sure what the reference was so just when you have members of a team quitting because they're speaking of and again you know me Maybe there's a little bit of information lacking, but I mean, you know, no one's really talking about it much because they're just trying to wash their hands of this. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty pretty sad. So, again, more more examples of how not to lead a team, how not to be a leader. You know, how to manage everything so badly that you manage to run your team into the ground. See, that's the thing that's not just science. exclusive to creative oh. development teams. You just all just told me having the kid on the stream can get you kicked off. For what? I have no idea. He says it's part of Toss. Is it because of, of uh, exploitation and shit? Maybe. I, I, like, I've just, never like, heard of that. I never heard of it either. He's just... He's just looking out for us. He's like, you guys just need to be careful. I'm like, okay. Oh no, I'm not blaming him. It's just no. I appreciate the information. We live I in a society. I'm sorry, Hero. I didn't mean to. No, you're fine. I I just gotta. I gotta fix her TV for. Her. <laughs> That's why she came. Hey, we okay. got you. We got you. What's the next topic? Yeah, it's okay, there's like ten of us in here, so it's okay. Um, <laughs> Thank you guys for your patience in the chat yeah. and our lurkers. So, yeah, we yes. Thank you so much. Um, so here, here's another subject I know nothing about. I don't even Big know how bite. to say her name. Santa, Anna not fired rumors and how it ties to the new Miss Marvel movie, Miss Marvel show. I think I remember hearing about this, but I really couldn't bring myself to listen to more BS. And then it turns out later in the week, more BS happens. So. Um, no. Is she the character that plays Miss uh, Miss Marvel? No, she's the creator of Miss Marvel. Sama okay, Am thank uh, you. Sana okay. Amanant. God, her name is hard to yeah, pronounce. I, I, I butcher honest. her name as well. So, but hey, yeah, you're okay, Unix. Don't that. worry about it. <clears throat> I'm I'm sorry. Say again, Chief. No, it's okay, Unix. All like everything is pretty much public here. We don't care what people think. It's fine. So if we get kicked off here, we'll just go to YouTube and, and live stream there. We don't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently YouTube loves live streams now, so we need to probably start doing that more anyway. Yeah. Because they're not they're not giving any credence to our fucking videos that we put our like blood, sweat, and tears in, but that's whatever. Yeah. So YouTube bunch of dicks when it comes to that shit. I guess they can't recognize your them. talent. So maybe I should go on Crowder. Maybe. Okay. That'll get you a lot of attention for about three Gothic's months. Mike, oh, that, reminds me. <laughs> yeah. that reminds me. Gothic said uh, she she sent a message to us. Like I thanked her for coming on the show, and she's like, "Anytime you guys want want me back on, if you do, let me know." I'm like, "Well, definitely." Yay! That was really sweet of her. Yeah. So yep. like we sent out a message. So that was that means she had a good time. So that's great. So thank you so much. 
I am 100% sure you're not watching this gothics, but thank you so much anyway. <laughs> we, we hope you feel the the appreciation through the force. The, prover the proverbial love. <laughs> yes. So why is she? Why is this chick getting fired, dude? So it's a rumor. Which is that she extremely got fired. offensive. Oh, it's a rumor. It's a rumor. So the real the real story is that Sama Amanat, who was really super active on Twitter up until December of this past year, and then she went radio silent on her Twitter for a while. And she's one of the activist types. Uh, you know. Okay. The no way. I mean, so, it's Twitter. I'm going to assume that. Yeah, but um, Twitter does is not a place that exists. <laughs> Twitter is not a real place. Thank you, Dave Chappelle. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, to to really get down to it, uh, she went she went silent, radio silent on all of her socials, and it was really bizarre because it's been the months leading up to her character that she made, Miss Marvel. This is her character. Well, she co-created the character, but really, she's the creator of the character. Um, America Chavez slash Miss Marvel slash some alien from another dimension with Mr. Fantastic Powers. Um, and she just went quiet for a while. And then uh, some a couple of uh, a couple of uh, comic book collector types that are really big on YouTube uh, as from Heels versus Babyface. Uh, Ethan Van Skyver himself, the once major Marvel and DC comic book writer that went indie because the comic book industry blacklisted him uh he even came out and said hey i've been hearing some some industry talk that sama sana amanat has been fired and the rumor was that she got fired for inappropriate relationships with two different people in the business uh that was rumor well, she also broke her silence a couple of days ago when it her. started getting a lot of <laughs> it started getting a lot of attention. So she broke Man, her that's silence. Clipped. She started getting a lot of attention about this little topic. So she she actually broke her silence and she only really retweeted a couple of mentions of the drop coming for her Miss Marvel character show. Fat chicks need love too. And she also said, Hey, sorry guys, I've just been really busy lately, blah blah blah. Well that's strange. <laughs> it's strange because she's even when she was busy doing creative things in Marvel, she was also tweeting. So it's just been right. very out of my God, help me. <laughs> She's very out of character being quiet. Hey, and my theory, if you will, my theory about it is that if she did in fact get terminated from Marvel, Marvel is probably keeping it very, very much on the down low, not publicizing that she got terminated, having her under an NDA so she can't talk about it, because it's very bad optics if the creator of the comic book character gets cut from the company right when that comic book character is featuring in her own TV show on live, uh, on live TV. They wrapped a Miss... Are you sure it's a show? Because I know they wrapped the, a movie, Miss Marvel, last year. So are you sure it's a show? It's the show. Or it's the show. So, there, the, there, so it's a show. It's not it's not a movie. There she's going to be in the movie uh, The Marvels. But Okay, I, it was, I was thinking it was a standalone movie. I might We're also wrong talking about a show. I've seen images. I've seen leaked images of the Captain uh the Miss Marvel show, I guess it was. Well, no, again, she she's got her own show that's that's there I don't know if it's wrapped now or if it's still being worked on. But it's going on right now. And then she's also got she's also featured in the Marvels, which okay. is gonna be Captain Marvel, Miss Marvel, and Monica Rambeau, if I got the information correct. I'm not hundred percent sure on that. I don't know who half the fuck these characters. I don't, I heard of Moon Knight, I've heard of Miss Marvel, like the hot one back in the eighties that had like like she was like nine heads high and it was all legs. Harold Danvers. And then there's another Miss Marvel. That's this one that's from another dimension that is 
Muslim and gay and has stretchy powers. So she's like, I'm so confused. Oh, Sama Amina created Miss Marvel because she was. Go ahead, Oni. Sorry, no, go ahead. Oh, go ahead, Hero. Sorry. Sama Amina created Miss Marvel for representation. Ma representation, as somebody else would say. (laughs) So it's funny because I'm actually wearing a Marvel shirt tonight. It's ironic. (laughs) It it kind of completely unintentional. So Miss Marvel, the character. Uh, She comes into the mainstream Marvel Universe as a uh, fangirl. Oh, get that shit out of here. (laughs) (laughs) You're distracting, dude. Sorry. But uh, Miss Marvel herself is a character that that comes into the, the mainstream Marvel Universe as a fangirl of Captain Marvel, Carol Danvers. Okay. Carol Danvers herself was a fucking mess when it comes down to her origin story. She was a worse drunk than Tony Stark and more depressed. So it, her story is really Jessica dark. Jo- more drunk than Jessica Jones. <laughs> I, I would say that her and Jessica Jones were equally a train wreck. <laughs> is this comics or TV show or movie? Comics. We're ta- I'm, I'm talking comics. Her, her, her origin story was so so much of a mess. It she was the um, picture of Stockholm. Sounds like Pelosi fucking Unisol. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> getting political. Oh yeah, sounds like Pelosi freaking reading off a freaking poem that she should never have thought was a good idea for. Dear God, help me. But anyway, she's an alcoholic. Yeah. Pelosi is. Well. Maybe we'll see Jessica Jones and <laughs> Captain oh, as Jessica. only say Captain Marvel. Well, Marvel is a different character. Okay. Ca- Captain that... Marvel is actually a slightly different character. <clears throat> uh, I like okay. Jessica Jones. So, so he was she's free. A, so, her, so her origin story is that she's like a chronic drunk. A chronic drunk and has horrible Stockholm syndrome. Like her, or like one of her origin uh, stories uh, for for Captain Marvel for Carol Danvers was that she got kidnapped by multiple men, and then had many bad things done to her. And the Avengers was just like, "Well, we don't know where she went. Never came looking for her." And then she come, she escapes, comes back. She's pregnant, and the Avengers are like, "Oh, hey, congratulations! Where you been?" And there, and nobody's like, "Where have you been for the last like however long?" we've been war nobody just see nobody acknowledges it and then next thing you know she gives birth she's attached to the baby she falls in love with the with her abuser and then the multiple man holds the baby and because multiple man is multiple man and the baby turns out to have been a clone of multiple man gets absorbed into multiple man i know that sounds a little confusing so baby goes bye bye and she has a freaking existential crisis and then somehow Super just girl's last name is Danvers Badger, but it's a different first name. But go it, ahead, hero. It, it did something happens in that moment. Like she just magically gets over it and then walks away into the sunset with her abuser. Like severe that's, Stockholm syndrome. <laughs> that's just lazy writing. <laughs> okay. Now, now there's, you know, Monica Rambeau, which in my opinion was a much, much better Captain Marvel, but hey. So is she fired or not? Um, again, <laughs> rumor. 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 Nothing what's the, what's the percentage do you think that she's fired? Like, what, what, what's like, like 50%, 65%? I would, I would be on the fence with a 50-50, because okay. if she did get fired, and it comes out that she got fired during the release of the show, and then Soon the movie really bad optics oh. for Disney. There, oh, there's no way Twitter. they're gonna. There's there's no way that that's gonna get let out anytime soon. Let's see, she's got a vagina and she's different, uh, darker skin. So yeah, that's gonna be a Twitter war. Free juicy. <laughs> Let's not and say we did. <laughs> He's already out. Yeah, for <laughs> but that's another story for another time. He's out from his appeal. But yeah, anyways, yeah, for she, our political she's not... channel. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I I just changed it to poli- uh, news and politics. Just kidding. <laughs> um, but um, yeah. I I don't think she, I think I think she's still on the payroll to fulfill a contract, and then they're gonna let her go, and then she's gonna go ape shit on Twitter. 
That's what I think that's going to happen. Yeah, it, you I, know I what? It could, be, it, it, it could be possible, or it, it could just be a permanent NDA or some sort of an NDA, and she's just not allowed to talk to it, and she just walks into the sunset and finds another job. Maybe. I, I, could, yeah. I could definitely say, yeah, she's probably still on the payroll to fulfill a contract. Uh, probably... Hey. Probably like not going to have anything... Probably not going to have anything come out about it for the longest time, if at all. It, just Marvel? to uh, no. appropriate the chat, because there's a lot of Danvers. Like, I thought Supergirl, <laughs> someone said it was Linda Danvers, and then um, Acted Over says Super Lame Girl instead of Supergirl. <laughs> but yeah, I stopped watching it when it got a little too preachy, and I turned it off. I'm like, I don't care how gorgeous Supergirl is. I will but not they made her out, so though, incredibly right? like, weak. And then it was like all this like social signal, social justice signaling. And I was like, I'm done. I stopped watching that. So that's, I'm that's like, I want to watch, I want to watch people like, I want to watch superheroes to escape that type of social justice warrior crap. I just yeah. want to sit there and veg out. I don't need to be, I mean, at least they it. made the sister gay, not super yeah, girl I don't, gay. I yeah. Mean, How long do you yeah. think it would have been before they would have flipped that switch? You know, they were going to flip they that even, switch. It was the CW. Supernatural. Can, can I mean, you supernatural after twelve years? They put a gay hunting couple in there. You know, look, it, look, it's gotta happen. Supernatural <laughs> actually had good writing until they got lazy in like the thirteenth hour. <laughs> well, yeah, but, true, but but I'll tell you right now, anything CW in the last five years that was created in the last five, maybe ten years, any anything CW has just been absolute. Trash, absolute wow, nothing but activism. Because that that's basically all I've been watching. Flash, Legend of Tomorrow, Green Arrow. Okay, Arrow. Loves that. early Flash. Go, early I, Flash, good. Early Legends of Tomorrow, okay. Um, I would even say, what was that? Uh, Star Girl that appeared to be really decent. One of, our students, one of our students. <laughs> one of our students from Dave School was the hand model for Star Girl. So. Really? Wow. Some useless information for you. It's probably one of your students. Of course it was. You, you're, you're stu- just... <laughs> yeah, Professor Soda like really, really works over his students so that way they get really good. So um, like me and him they... are probably the two strictest professors at the place. So when they always go out, it's always on LinkedIn. Thank you, Professor Chieftain. Thank you, Professor Soda. Like I got this job because it's like usually we get we get like tagged in like LinkedIn stuff. I don't know if they um ooh almost said it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Our school, uh, I don't know if they like that or they uh, they're like oh my god these guys or if they like even care. <laughs> well, that's why they, well, they, they had to give one of they us care. the award. So I'm, I'm assuming Chief will they get flip it next the coin. Year. He'll get it. No, next I year. won't get it. They, I I'll make sure. sure. I don't. I don't deserve it. You're a much better instructor. Than Whatever. Me, sir. <laughs> really? Because I have people you that two, don't know. Your, your fucking humbleness is fucking making me sick. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> That's like, how we are. Your your students talk about me in your class. <laughs> well, I told them I talked about you because they're supposed to be doing a damn storyboard, and I said I know damn well you know how to do it because you had Joe. And, like, <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Chieftain. Like, and, uh, yeah, oh, and everyone was, uh, knows my name is Joe Chieftain on Facebook. It's fine. But, uh, it was Joe. Uh, exactly. Joe, Joe Mama. 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 At least it's not Joe Biden. That's right. You sure? He looks kind of like him. He... Oh, no. No, don't ins. No. <laughs> don't yeah, insult the show it. like that. No, 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 I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you got to age him by like. 90 years, and then we'll maybe put him yeah. in my age. You program. might be able to come close if you do some sort of 3D modeling and visual effects. You might be able to twist his image into something looking resembling President Potato. Hey, oh, don't God. disrespect my potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Or turnips. <laughs> I'm getting there. I am getting there. Hold his shit. But, <laughs> man. Oh, Actually, uh, my brother's wife asked me, he's like, what's wrong with you? She literally said, "What's wrong with you? Because <laughs> I just burn out random shit all the time. Like, I was just like, I got time to listen. I'll fill you in." But uh, I'm used to talking to Nova. If this topic or slide does not get us banned, nothing will. Um, 
oh. Disney and their fondness for predators. Oh, Guess who chose this topic? Guess who chose this topic? Uh, the honey I have badger. No idea who did. The honey I badger. Have, I have oh. no idea. I'm calling her out. Well, no, I'm not calling her out. I'm giving her a shout out. The honey badger suggested this topic. Oh, really? And, and Oni. I, I would have bet dimes and donuts it was you. Miss I always say that you're anti Disney. <laughs> and so so did uh so did Emperor Chieftain last week. Mm. Well, you know what my answer to that is is better off dead than red. <laughs> oh what they do God. this time. What happened now with Disney? What are they doing now that that so, a couple up? of a couple of days a ago? Shitty Ewok special? I was going I was gonna <laughs> ignore this topic, but because the honey badger brought it up, I was like, all right, this one's too easy. So a couple of days ago low hanging fruit in um classic disney fashion because uh, there's been a news report like this once every couple of years for the last 15 20 years um four four disney employees get got caught up in a sting operation uh trying to i'll say it like this protect the children um protect you know the sting operation was intended to protect the children Oh, okay. okay. I, thought you, I thought you meant the employees. Like, eh, eh. They were caught in a Nod's trap. Yeah, I got, I got it. What does well, that mean? But Disney has, what, 10,000 people working for them? So... It's British ah. slang. Okay. British slang for somebody that enjoys the company of children a little too much. Here's, okay. here's oh, the thing. You know. I have... We're trying to avoid saying that because those words get banned on streams. That's true. We're not that big yet, though. <laughs> That's why I've been trying to avoid saying it. So you I use like it. You're Australian. No, but I I watch Australian people, anyways. Uh, there's there's a couple. <laughs> go things. ahead. Just yeah. Sorry. No, go ahead, up ahead. There's a couple of things I want to bring up about the subject. For starters, some of them have been previous employees, or you know, like. Excuse me. They weren't all current employees all the time, okay? So let's let's keep that in mind. Now, this is not me defending these people. It's just saying it's just let's let's get some of the facts crystal clear. Now, let me be clear. Here in America, you are assumed innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Public opinion is a different subject, but Unless when it comes me, to Trump. When it comes to these types of sting operations, you can say, and you have a right to say it, that, well, why is it, it seems that Disney has a, a seemingly big problem regarding this subject matter. What was that? Wasn't me. What the fuck was that? Um... That's the NSA hacking into our... <laughs> the ethical hacking. you got to get the ethical in there. What's up, big brother? What's ethical about the NSA? <laughs> um, a anyways, let me catch up on wait. chat here. Uh, Hitsora says, the predators go where there's easy access, and that's a good point. Um, the thing is, is when you have a name like Disney, any little bit bad thing you do is going to be seemingly big news so when really bad things happen it's going to seem even worse kind of like marines you know it's not just oh so and so did something bad no a marine did something bad so let's keep that in mind too it's the fact that it's connected to disney that it's going to a, a, a company that literally makes its foundation on the memories for children you know, it's not a good look. Seriously, that's really weird. I Soda, is that you, dude? Yeah. <laughs> I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it was you. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> um, but then third of all, when it comes to American courts, we don't know if these people were convicted or. You know, it was possible if they were already nonces before, you know, they right. got caught. So 
even if Disney did have a screening process, they wouldn't have picked up on that because we don't necessarily just go and look through people's search histories all the time. Although, you know, hey, what's up, CIA, FBI person? Sorry, I don't have Tinder. Um, I'm going to die alone. That's kind of the name of the game. Well, because some FBI agents probably follow people and it's like, go, go hang out on Reddit. And I'm like, I don't do that. Sorry, FBI agent. Sorry you follow the most boring person ever. Anyways. I like where this is going. <laughs> so, you know, don't get me wrong. I think Disney has some questionable business practices. In this case, I don't know how much I can really say is their fault when, again, if you don't know that you you just hired someone like that. How are you supposed to know? Maybe they haven't. Wait, maybe they hadn't committed a crime like that before, so it wasn't going to show up on a background check, you know. And again, I don't know what type of background checks they would have run. I don't know if they would have done like a federal, or if it would have been like one of those in depth, uh-uh. you know, through every database. You know, I don't know. There's there's a lot of things I really haven't heard. Anyone I'm... else having audio issues? Uh, no. All right. You guys are coming off like the audio is sounding like robotic for a second there. Um. Well, I mean, it was oh, raining really out here. So... But it's everybody. I think it's on oh. my side. I don't know what's going on. Um. So... Uh. Although I can, I can nitpick at how Disney makes their movies or... Hold on a second. They can't understand you. Uh, yeah, I muted you. Hold on a second. I'm gonna. I'm getting a little bit of lag on my side. Give me a second. Aha. Uh-huh. My yeah, like. Check check and make sure um, certain somebody is. We're good. We're good now. We're good again. I was my, gonna my, say my go thing. check and make sure nobody's downloading porn or something. It's not uh, me. Hold on. Don't worry about yeah, it's. No, I'm actually no making it, but I don't think you want to hear about it. No, but my parents might be watching, so don't even mention that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me. If I'm downloading that something that on my man. other computer, that, if I'm downloading something on my other computer, they don't need to know that. Anyways, um, <laughs> so although I can so criticize, on this subject, let me get, let me ask this: What about all the kids from the Mickey Mouse Club that came out and was talking about stuff like this? Yeah, that was the a new Mickey Mouse Club. I had a friend that worked on the new Mickey Mouse Club. Do you want me to go see if I could, he has? A, he's available for comment. Sure, sure. sure right. If you if you're no, being serious. I'm, He's I've not going to admit heard... it anyway. <laughs> I've never heard about He's that like kind of stuff. Religious. But honestly, the Mouse Club, a lot of the kids came out. I believe it said a lot. Hey, of stuff Soda, you are coming back. through a little robotic, my friend. No, he's fine now. I hear him okay. Did he sound robotic on your side? Huh. Chat. Does everybody sound okay? Um, press one if we all sound okay. Chieftain, Soda's chieftain, breaking. test one, two, three. Press F oh. if it doesn't. Hero. See. Oh, that's what I wanted to do for the other. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me, honestly. And Badger says two and then F. <laughs> Straight Hold answer. Uh, Jesus, please I'm have cracking. Badger. Please have Badger answer fine. a straight question for once hey, in her life. Hey, Badger, Badger answered me by pressing F, which means not good. Wait, let me make sure I didn't turn on. That's what I wanted to do. Like, when someone was talking too long, I would, I would say, please hit X to content- to skip. Uh, skip campaign as you were talking. It's like, please hit X. Like if someone Look, if you're going to have an option to skip campaign, you need to get the hell out of gaming. Fuck that shit. <laughs> the I campaign's mean, important, skip, bitch. <laughs> uh, X, X to skip cutscene. No, no, you, it should be Fair enough. Uh, press start. <laughs> yeah, or I B. can do that for everybody. I think it'll be funny. Because X anyway, should be ahead. for doubt. All right, so, so my comment on it is, while I don't definitely think that um disney is necessarily doing a poor job of um screening their individuals before hiring them i kind of wonder if there is improvements they can make because they don't they they definitely have a besmirched track record at this point uh if i remember correctly the number is somewhere between 20 and 30 individuals that have been busted in sting operations over the last few years that's you know now granted again disney has a lot of employees it's currently probably the biggest employer in the united states right now so 
They're huge. They're they're, huge. You're going to have a get a number. Oh, he's robotic now. Oh, wow. You're going to end up I'm with robotic. a robotic. Good number. Wow, your voice modulator is horrible. Yeah, modulator. <laughs> but you. Hey, Zambuki fucking show off. <laughs> but but I, I would definitely say that um, you you're not gonna be perfect when you're hiring people. You're also you're 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 gonna have a a number of people here and there that are gonna pop hot on the bad test. You know. Um, I want to roll. Let's see. There's a whole training session about trafficking. I'm not going to say that word, but this was a group. Um, <laughs> Badger, you're a goof. Um, ultimately, my opinion is just that you're not going to get them all, but maybe they got some some modifications that they need to start making to the process. Because... That's a big number of people in the last few years. And especially around children. However, again, until more information comes out, given the age range of the people caught recently... That age range was not very specific. Mm. It was... They had, they had a 65-year-old. There was a 65-year-old. But again, were these people who... Were these people on the list already? Were they convicted? Or was this a first-time thing? Because if it's a first-time thing, catching that on a screening is going to be a bit more difficult. Now, if for some... And again, that's me trying to give benefit of the doubt. I understand that you can't screen for something if you don't have a way to find there's out been what's a history, going to right? Exactly. Because again... How we're supposed to function in this country is innocent until proven guilty, and you know. Twitter will disagree with you, but then again, yeah. Twitter is also not a real place. Mm. And I'm not on Twitter, so I don't really care. Uh, but again, because I'm on Truth Social now. Because <laughs> again, this uh, is yeah. a company whose bro send me an invite. Literal existence is based <laughs> on you know the creation of memories for children. Making sure you don't have nonces on your team mm -hmm. is important. That was four people at the Disney location in Florida alone. You know, it, <sighs> that, that's not a good look. And especially no. with all of these recent operations catching top-ranking oh, people in these digital media companies or social media companies turning out to be nonces. Didn't Not we have one on Twitter good. recently? There was one on Twitter Maybe. recently. There was one from Sony recently. There was one from NVIDIA recently. Hell, there was one from Funimation recently, even though the allegations were retracted. That story's next or later. Actually, yep. it would be uh, the first time for a Funimation voice are, actor. If you are uh, welcome to the chat, if you are new, I am Chieftain. To my right is... Blacklight Oni, we call her Oni for short. Below me is Hero, and the bottom right hand corner that is Soda Pop. If you are new, oh. welcome to the chat. We this is lagging out live, and we have different skills and different superpowers, so to speak. And we are talking about Disney and their fondness for predators, but not really what's going on with Disney. And we're kind of wrapping up this topic. So I can add on new chatters slightly. into chat. Go I ahead, can. Sir. I can segue this into another topic under the same uh, banner, so to That's speak. That's my impression of it's Tay. She does that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> um, so oh, yeah. Disney also has um... shit brain fart. Uh oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> I just lost a lot. I just lost the thread of my thread of thought for a second. Disney there, was caught. Disney was yeah. So so that okay. Yep, I got. Got got the thread back. Following the train. <laughs> I try to think, but nothing happens. Yeah, so um, they got caught on this. Well, not they necessarily. There, there's some bad PR. This is a black eye for them. But giggity. Um, <laughs> giggity, giggity, giggity. But now to kind of turn the wheel like onto the next subject, they also have a massive um, backlash coming because 
they're trying to move their Imagineers to Florida because they got this big complex they're building somewhere here in Florida that has a lot to do with the Imagineers. And a lot of the Imagineers are kicking and screaming. And many of them are claiming it's because of the recent bill that went through that morons call the don't say gay bill and right oh, the okay. others call the anti-grooming bill. But let's mm-hmm. be real. It's it's not either. It's a common sense fucking law. Yeah. Let's not talk too much about the bill, though. Yeah. They're claiming that as the reason that they don't want to move to Florida. When in reality, a lot of them were already saying that they were just going to write out their contract until the deadline of moving to Florida and to just take the L and find another job. Could uh, go back to the People's Republic of California and pay 70, <laughs> like 45% of your taxes. Ironically, to, um, ironically, Emperor that's Newsom... That's why I fucking left that awful ass state. It fucking sucks. <laughs> ironically... Sorry, was that out loud? <laughs> yeah, you said the sign. I wanted to you, they're like, are, are you open to relocating to California? No. No. Why? Never. Because I don't want to work in Nazi Germany. And I told the recruiter that. I go, if I want to work for Nazis, I'd go work for Hitler. And that's not going to happen. Giving, I'm not going uh, there. They're getting money back for gas now in California. Supposedly. It's, what? Um, I talk, I t- no joke, guys. I talked to a recruiter from Bakersfield, which is the sticks. I know where Bakersfield is. You do, but I'm... You're not the only one in the room, are you? Which one? Paris Island or um, the other? But, uh, I'm kidding. Come on. Give me some credit here. <laughs> but she said it was like seven to eight bucks a gallon where she lived in Bakersfield. Fuck. Yeah. Bakersfield is not. fucking boonies. It's it's just like <laughs> yep. mm-hmm. in the middle of nowhere, just suddenly there's a place. It's like Modesto. You don't go there. Yeah. I, I've been to Modesto. I actually I, I partied in Modesto. I Modesto. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> oh, you want to know another? I'm going to quote a movie. And trust me, shout out to my dad because he said what we were all fucking thinking. In the movie. You can say whatever you want with that perfect hair. Thank you. In the movie Monsters vs. Aliens, which definitely, definitely love that movie. Great movie. There's an, a meteorite coming to hit Earth. Thank goodness. And the main character is looking to get married. She's literally going to get married the next day. And her fiancé, soon-to-be husband, goes, sorry, we're not going to go on our planned honeymoon to Paris. And I'm thinking, great, that sounds like a win. Well, goes through a short list of other, you know, beautiful destinations. Instead, he says, Fresno. And then... You realize, oh, hey, the meteorite's headed for Modesto, which is close to Fresno. My dad's like, just let it happen. Take it. That's a win. You're increasing property value. It's all good. <laughs> <sighs> kind of like Superman 2 when they want to like bomb the San Andreas Falls to have beachfront property in Nevada. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> increasing property value. Sounds good. <laughs> I mean, as long you're taking out California, the only downside would be losing Monterey Bay. That would literally be the one of the only reasons why I'd ever go back to California for longer. Apparently, than even that place is a shit show now. What the Monterey Bay Aquarium? Uh, 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 well, not the aquarium, but Monterey Bay itself apparently is a shit show itself now too. It's been a mess for decades. The only reason why that place is on the map is because of the aquarium. Because they used to have a lot of canning facilities and a lot of fishing offshore. But when those businesses died, there was really nothing left. So a lot of the people had to either leave or, you know, scrape by on tourism. And Monterey Bay, the aquarium, decided, fuck it, we're going to keep this place alive. So they have a, they have parts of the history of Monterey Bay. They have live feeds of their different submersibles. They have rotating exhibits. If you ever get a chance to go to Monterey Bay Aquarium, it is the coolest place ever. They have a, a whale skeleton on the ceiling. You need at least two solid days to walk around. It's cool. There are seahorses. They have we. They have leafy sea dragons. They got sea otters. They got birds. They got sharks. They're in the Guinness Book of World Records. I can go on and on. But it's so the only place my thought in California. Is, is I have no interest in going to California ever again. They've got an actual app that maps out where human shit is on the streets in that state. I'm yeah, just in San saying. Francisco, yeah. 
They have a real fucking app for that. I have no interest in going there. Fuck that. Is it called a crap? It, they're called landmines. No, they a crap, are. as in crap app. I gotta check on it my might, daughter. I'll be right be. back. <laughs> she got too quiet. That, oh, oh my goodness. Of every fucking time we go to his fucking segment. Every fucking time. Oh, what was the right. next segment? He's got the worst timing ever from <laughs> a from a person that's doing a live. The poor guy. It's, it's Heroes What's... Tech. Heroes Tech, yeah. So we'll stop the whole show. On another note, the Yankees still suck. <laughs> I don't know. We had a couple of big signings, so we got rid of Sanchez, so that makes us better. Well, Correa is still not signed, but hey, Freddie Freeman left, so I mean. Yeah, he's in L.A. They're talking about Correa going to the Orioles. That's fucking stupid. Why would you go there to be in the last place team? Another note. Th that, that's, uh, that's where players go to die. <laughs> Watson signed today with the Cleveland Browns, of all people, and they didn't even need a quarterback. But Ah, there we go. He only, you know, supposedly molested. 30 women and he got Whoa. all the charges dropped. <laughs> that must that must be nice to be rich and influential. You know, yeah. you can get away with literally everything. Well, he but, did uh, have to sit out the whole year though. That kind of sucked. Oh, mm -hmm. did he get paid for it? Yeah, probably. Probably. Contract. Ah. There he is. Hey. Hey. We talk about hey sports for 3 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I checked on my daughter and come to find out. The reason why she's quiet is she's laying on her bed watching TV. And I'm like, well, okay. <laughs> Going to bed? Yeah. Not yet. He's very, watch very TV. quiet. You have a great, you have a great kid there. I try. I could never. Thank be a God, she takes after her mother. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Just as crazy. <laughs> What's this? You're skipping the intro to my slides. Uh -oh. Shame. Wait, the intro to your slide. Wait, what did it skip? Oh, that's at the end, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, sir. For shame, Chieftain. <laughs> I didn't see that. It just popped up, and it must have been <laughs> on Who she said. Whoa. Damn. <laughs> hey, welcome, Dark Nova Dragon. Welcome, Dark Nova. Um, apparently, mm -hmm. Hero's IT breakdown Broke. He still has no idea what borders are. So it's Bruh. Rose IT breakdown. Oh, uh -oh. Ticker. Oh, uh, Ticker. So Ticker, uh, is that a headdress request or is that a fedora request? Thank you for coming in, by the way. <laughs> and for doing so, I think he gets he get for for a hundred. I think he gets uh, that special emote, right? Uh, probably. Uh, it'll just show next time he types something. Uh, I'll take address? head. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! I'll take it too. Giggity. All right, cool. I have my earbuds here. Go ahead. Um, you gonna say you offering? <laughs> Don't ask me. Uh, what the fuck? No. Oh my not god. <laughs> it's a lot easier now to do this because I have it. I have like Give a head? Steel Series headset that mm -hmm. has an extra jack that I can put my. Uh, earbuds in so it's a it'll cost more than a hundred to tokens though. although it's very low um unfortunately but i can hear you it would definitely take more than a hundred ticker just saying yeah uh ticker thank you for coming in we do have a new uh emote menu by the way um for one 100 1000 and think 5000 i think 5000 is the bronze shield right guys i don't remember i think something like that yeah all right let me put this on for 10 minutes going for the bronze age How's that Sorry, up, set though? timer for 10 minutes. <laughs> 10 minutes. Oh, gosh. Damn Apple products. I love modern technology. <laughs> there we go. Put me on the Land of Lakes box, baby. There you oh, go. Yeah. Land of Lakes. So we are Don't here. Don't forget to go to our YouTube channel and subscribe and make comments on our new video. Or right. down. Get that black. He got that? Well... Hero did Oni's little symbol there, and it was black on black, and it should be white on black. So There's two of them. Oh. There's two different ones. I probably can't. Yeah. See. Oh, okay. I can't see the other Makes sense. Okay. He's got the Moabiti one, like him having, it's like he's having an orgasm or something. I don't know what <laughs> he's doing in that picture. But anyways, okay, so I'll read this because 
you fail on border um, stuff, just I... like our president. <laughs> so it's Rose IT breakdown. Now with less dairy than Chieftain's Camper's Corner. Fuck you. Um, He's just trying think, to cheese it. It's like my, cheese it like Bender, right? So, okay. <laughs> okay, Chad. Let's go to the next clip. <laughs> let's hear. Okay, so it's blank. So if it's hard to read, it's because he's never taking graphic design. So it's really hard to see everything. <laughs> so brought to you by nothing. Not at all. I am not cool enough for sponsors yet. So I think you're supposed to be reading this, right? Technically, but you're doing great. Yeah, it's, it, it's it's backwards on the camera on the stream. So, are you a winning son? <laughs> I love that meme. Maybe I'll get some. You look like a little oh, pixie. Tails. Ticker, are you what are you trying to do? Slides ever? Eventually, I think Ticker's okay, talking about my hair. He is. Yeah, tick, yeah, she has great hair. Well, well. Thank you. Anyways, uh, so, so okay, here we go. We've got uh, some nice little techie news here. I don't know how many of you give a shit about anything technology, but I feel like i got to do my part. Um, <laughs> so Chrome's got this new screen reader out. Um, it's not exactly available yet, but it's uh, some, some individuals that are smarter than me managed to dig into some of their source code and found the... Uh, the the APIs for it, which I'm not going to go into the techie like detail. This is going. Uh, but it's got the capability of streaming what's on your screen and also your front-facing camera at the same time. So basically, it's designed for streaming. <laughs> it's got a little uh, face cam, and it'll also clip what you're what you have on your screen. There's people out there that have hacked some ROMs and stuff that allow them to stream mobile games and do all kinds of really cool shit and still have, excuse me, still have a face cam up. But in this case, they've got basically this new all-in-one package that'll do it all at once coming out for their devices. So now, what you're telling me is people get to play their games on their phones and it'll look something like this. Not quite. Oh, it'll look more like what's uh, <laughs> it'll look more like what's on uh, Chieftain's screen. When well, he changed the shot. How? How? Because like he changed the um... shot. How? Go back to the four shot. <laughs> <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> there you go. So it looked more like having a face cam up in the top corner of the screen, and then you'd have your content in the middle of the screen. But. But how is what I'm asking? If it's on like how a tablet or your phone, that doesn't make sense. Did you say it was a Chromebook or Chrome screen? They don't get it. It's the Chrome screen no. reader. I, I get it, Chieftain. I get it. I'm just they're like paying, they're not paying any attention to you. No, no. I'll be quiet. <laughs> wow, Badger, you are out in left field somewhere. What did Badger say? Ticker's name just tick. Tickles my pickle. Oh, oh my, my goodness. God. Just right, remember, a she ban. is more related. You get a five-minute mute on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember, Oni, she's technically more related to you than she is to your parents. <laughs> you know, if two twins married two twins and they had kids, all their kids would be siblings. They wouldn't be cousins because their genetics are exactly the same. That's not how being a twin works. <laughs> yes, it's technically how it works because their genetics are completely the same. No. The geneticist actually said that. That is not how being a twin works. If you're if you're genetically split from the same egg, you have the same genetic material and your DNA is exactly the same. That would make you an identical twin. Yeah. I'm not I'm an saying. identical twin. I'm not saying that you are. But I'm, I'm saying, not, oh. but it's not going to fucking work. <laughs> you're using... Sounds normal to me. If you're an identical twin, <laughs> which I'm not. Not if you not not if you have not if two different eggs are fertilized, then you're not genetically the same. I'll be honest, Oni. That would be Oni me. I'm going to go ahead and say this, Oni. I honestly thought I'm you and Badger were identical you. twins when I first met you both, because yeah. you guys do have s similar enough features that I would believe it. 
<laughs> yes, yes, and I have been asked, are are you guys identical twins? No. Are you sure? Very. <laughs> that could be constituted as racist now. Oh, yeah, you can't like say that. that. I forgot. Yeah. What? <laughs> Anything. <laughs> Anything. Think about it. Well, whatever. Kiss mm. my ass. Exactly. I have a difficult. I, agree with you. I have a difficult Anyways. enough time differentiating faces of various people for various reasons. I'm not good with faces all the time, which really bothers me. I'm also not good with names. I'm very. It, it really annoys me because it's like, oh yeah, these are differences between certain people. And I'm like, I have. It's like as soon as I see you in a different screen, I have no idea what you're what you look like. I I'm not facially blind. I swear I'm not. It it's just. I'm bad at it and it annoys me. So I apologize if and when any of us meet. So, but so no, answer your no, question. I'm not a fucking identical <laughs> twin. Stop saying like, oh, well, if, 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 when those okay, ifs Oni. don't apply. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not Let saying it, it was directed towards you. That's what I'm trying, I'm trying oh, to make that oh, point. But go. you got so triggered so quickly. You didn't allow me Let to explain. Anyways, to answer your go. question, Let Oni, go. how Let that would go. work, how it works is, you know how you have your content on the screen and then you have a camera and then things like Streamlabs OBS uh, slap that camera up in the corner or wherever you tell it to go. It's the same concept on tablet or mobile. It's they're they're making better features for it. I but generally, it be... if you're looking at the phone or the tablet or whatever it is, you're going to get that angle. Right? Angle. No, well, yeah. I mean, you'd have to. You know. So then, Can why you would center you yourself a little bit, Oni? Can you center yourself a little bit in this shot, please? <laughs> Thank you. You had to think about it. I have to think about no, it. No, I don't have to think about it. It's the fact that I'm trying to do it in reverse. Yeah, it's it's hard because that's why I have to out. think it's, about it. <laughs> yeah, it's a pain in the ass. I don't think about it. I just do it and then do the opposite thing that I just did if it didn't work. Right, like if I'm pointing, like I'm making sure there's Oni below me is Hero. In the bottom right hand corner is soda pop. It's hard to do that when everything's reversed and reading it in reverse is always hard. But yeah. Uh, um. So, anyways, it, it's uses that front facing camera, and yeah. Does it mirror it out too? And like that I, I don't have all the dogs? details on it. I I definitely grabbed this on the fly, and I saw something that I thought was pretty cool. It just seems pretty cool to me to have a screen reader that can stream properly without extra bells and whistles is something that I thought would be interesting to people. Windows can do that with two hotkeys already. You can already do a screen grab and record yourself. You can't stream. We're talking about phones here. But you can... (laughs) Well, Windows... I thought we were talking about... uh, It says Chrome on here. Yeah, Chrome's the web browser. Yeah, so I thought we were talking about, yeah. I thought we were it, talking about it, something streaming from a phone. Are we not? They say I, I think Chrome's uh bigger. I don't know. I'm so gun shy right now to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Chrome's uh, Hero, biggest. Was this software on the phone or the PC? I pulled it off of XDA, so I'm thinking that it's. I'm not asking. I'm talking about the, the, okay. I, I'm That's pretty sure it's mostly about mobile. Chrome is a platform that is mostly targeted towards mobile devices but they have their own os so i can understand the confusion there okay i'm gonna say because there's a million things that'll do that on pc so it's again like i said i thought it was interesting because it's something new and something chrome i'll try again next time maybe i'll get a better audience <laughs> or maybe you'll just get better at telling a joke oh <laughs> why did what I'm not saying anything know. to Oni for the rest of the night. <laughs> I, I'm I'm confused because uh, I I didn't realize I was trying to joke. <laughs> Good, because none of us were laughing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I, I didn't I didn't realize it was supposed to be a joke. <laughs> Come at me! I fucking dare you. <laughs> Anyways, we could go to the next topic. Let's <laughs> go. Uh-oh. 
think Chieftain broke his buttons again. Come at me, I fucking dare you. Shut up and dribble, bitch. <laughs> there it is. Emotional damage. You know what would make your icon better? So if we made it a Canadian, so like the, the top half, like, can move. Oh, he's, she wants to do the South Park shit. <laughs> oh. What are you talking about? Oh, okay, I can do that. Oh, God, you just gave him an idea. <laughs> so the next thing is Apple, right? Yes, sir. Um, okay. Is we this don't... isn't over yet? All right. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Man fucking hates me. <laughs> <I'm> just... <laughs> Captain Cheese does not approve. But anyway. Um, yeah, so... Uh, God damn, bus... Honey Badger doesn't like the M1 Ultra at all. <laughs> wow, she oh, hates the M1 Ultra. Yeah. Um, okay. So, a little bit of... Not even a picture of it, but that's fine. But that, that, that very busy minutes, background right? works so well. I did this all in like five minutes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> God <laughs> damn. You, well, you, yeah, you're getting... <laughs> if you would have turned this in, and uh, Professor Soda, like, go back and I'll uh, work on it. And uh, that's not the point. I'll not my you... class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I did this in Soda's class, he'd fail me just on principle <laughs> alone that it's a PowerPoint well, presentation. Well, this is better than now, I thought it was going to be. Because, I... go ahead. Oh, I said, hopefully by now I would have taught him not to do some things and he would have actually learned these things. <laughs> like I was looking student. for a bunch of one and zeros here, like one, one, zero, 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 one, 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 zero, zero, zero. And then he'd be reading it like perfectly, kind of like the Matrix. It's like, yeah, you see ones and zeros. I see a blonde brunette and a redhead, you know, it could be kind of like the operator from the Matrix. If someone gets that reference, thank you. If you don't, I'm sorry. No, I got it. <laughs> I'm not. But yeah, uh, so what about the new processor for the Apple? Is it good? Is it bad, Hero? Tell us, tell us the skinny on this, buddy. Well, ultimately, uh, from everything I've seen, the M1 Ultra as a whole is Sounds an like awesome, beer. awesome performance machine. I'm not an Apple fan, so that's high price. Yeah, that's a lot for you to um, say. Yeah, my, my soul's hurting a little bit. I need to go rinse the Apple out of my mouth now. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried a God. dentist? Giggity, giggity, giggity. I might need to. Gotta get, gotta, gotta floss that shit out. Um. Once, once you go Mac, you don't go back. That's not true. <laughs> um, from everything I've seen, the M1 Ultra's performance, as far as speed, for everything on the motherboard, is amazing. It outperforms DDR5, which is the current standard of uh, everything computers right now. So anything that's not a Mac is running on DDR5 RAM. And the RAM speed for the M1 Ultra outperforms that. Excuse me. Apparently, from everything I've also read, the performance... they Apple has been advertising the performance of the M1 Ultra as better than... <laughs> <laughs> the nvidia 3090 <laughs> and i can't i can't not laugh at that because there's plenty out there that disproves that claim i will definitely say that it is still a performance machine that would not disappoint a normal consumer i'd say don't get this just because it's way too more too much power for a normal pr consumer they're, they're, it'd just be, they'd be surfing on a freaking gaming machine for anybody that does video editing, the high end graphics modulation, things like that. Definitely worth a buy for them if they're in the market for a freaking three to four thousand dollar machine. <laughs> Oni, yes. What's it retailing at? $3,999.99. And that's just for the graphics card? It's the, a computer. Oh, it's a graphics card. Oh, it's a computer. Card. It's a, it's, it's a freaking cube with a motherboard in it. It's oh, so it's kind of like the, so it's like the Mac Mini. Yeah. Where, um, where they basically were like, this is the computer. Kind of, yeah, pretty much. Hmm. Uh... The rest of today's biddies are going towards Chieftain's new. What? Mac Did that say 1090 or, or it's cut off there? Is it, what is it? Hmm? 
It says the NVIDIA... 3090. Oh, they, 30 they claim... 3090. Oh, okay. Apple it's claims... It's faster than the 3090. Apple claims that, but it is not true. Mm-hmm. I have confirmed that is not true. Apple never lies. I believe them. Yeah. Tell that to everything that's tracking performance. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm not saying that this couldn't possibly be a good computer. I but to for starters, false advertising, never a good look. No, no, you're right. To it, it falls under the Mac Studio only... uh pages. You're literally You're paying for, no doubt, a powerful piece of equipment. But the thing is, is that the prob- one of the problems with Mac in the personal computer realm, not being a PC PC, but a, a personal computer, they're not really known for being friendly to those who want to do work or upgrade them by hand. They're one of the big... Well, per- they're one of the big things people in the uh, right to repair group are trying to fight against because boy howdy apple likes to take your money at every fucking turn so sounds like disney so although i had a lot of respect for mac when i was growing up because my father used to work in print and mac was kind of what you used mac and adobe went hand in hand but mac also still had standards at the time and mac also made good stuff but now it's when such Steve a gimmick. Jobs was still alive. Yeah. I'm sorry? When Steve Jobs was still alive, it was more innovative. Now it's more like, how much money can we take from the consumer? If unnecessarily. I think that's just, I think that's well, just yeah. a side effect of massive corporations. Notice, Apple's gone that direction. Disney's gone that direction. Microsoft's gone that direction. It's NVIDIA is going, so. that, go, is going that direction. It's not just tech companies. It's major companies that are going that direction. They've gotten to a point, in my opinion, that they've reached their mass maximum appeal. So if you're not buying a Mac right now, chances are you're never going to buy a Mac. If you already are buying Macs, you're going to continue buying the product because you like the product. You've, it, it's the same concept as what's going on with Netflix. They've reached critical mass on their subscribers. So how are they going to make more money if they can't get more subscribers? That's our next subject, actually. Oh. A long link. Yep. <laughs> Sweet. But anyways, if you want to look at some of the... If you want to show some of the specs there, Chief, you can. Um, my point ultimately was... Uh, because I was making a joke with the title there was... The M1 Ultra Smasher Pass. For me, it's a pass. Um, <laughs> I for, love that, though. For, for me, it's definitely a pass. But I can see the appeal. Excuse me. I could see it being a very useful machine for people that do high-end production things that are like video-related or audio-related or whatever. But I just don't mm. see a standard everyday user appeal for it. Especially because of that price tag. That's a fucking insane price tag. We're talking $3,999, $4,000 for for this thing that's basically a Mac Mini. They call it Mac Studio now, but... I mean, that's about what I paid for mine. And yeah, the one that sense. I want to buy is like $6,000, $6,300, the one I want. Um... I was going to get it until I wasn't teaching two classes and then I couldn't get it. So mm. um, I'll let them know that. What's that? I'll let them know they broke your, your heart and your dreams yeah, and thanks. your soul. Yeah. They don't Could you bottle, mean, up, uh, bottle up some of his tears while you do it. Yeah. That way it's like, these are the tears he shed. I've bad. already said enough. Funny <laughs> about that bullshit. <laughs> Is that the performance thing that you were looking for? Um, that's one of them. Okay. Because I, I have less. the link. I have the link in the chat here. Oh, fuck me. All right. <laughs> no, thank you. 
I don't see anywhere it said a, the graphic card in there. A giant fucking link. All right. That thing um, actually doesn't have apparently a graphics card. It handles the graphics processor processing like a computer that doesn't have a graphics card. I hate it. So that should tell you something about performance. Um, I'd be how, yeah, that's weird. How does a computer not have a graphics card and function? I, I integrated. I, no, that can, means but... nothing oh. to me. I have no frame of reference for that. Okay. It's okay. built into the motherboard, basically. Yeah, it's built into the okay. motherboard, and it shares okay. its RAM and processing power. Okay, I'm guessing that comes with some pros and cons. Excessively so. Having a separate graphics processor with separate graphics RAM means that the main system's performance isn't going to be bogged down with processing your graphics stuff so it can spend time processing other things so I'm you so can confused on what i'm looking at right here so this is is this is this for the entire computer like that you're building what you see there where you can click view gallery that's the computer it's this? a little cube yeah mm -hmm. it's it looks kind of like this only a little bit bigger probably about yay big Oh, that's so dumb. Why would I buy that? Exactly. Because because Apple. Two well, Thunderbolt four ports, which I fucking hate, because then you can't plug in USB port. You have to buy a okay. dongle for it, which hey, is hey. more money that uh, you have to pay for. Under it, right? the under the the Apple box there, click view gallery and go to the next picture. The arrows on the right there. There you go. I see it. That's the computer. Now here's the thing with the Fucking original stupid. With the original <laughs> Mac Minis, I could understand because the original Mac Minis were supposed to try to simplify what having a Mac was like, and I can respect that. I I really can. When it comes That's to stuff like this, when it comes to stuff like this, dick. Does it suck your dick too for that much? I'm no. just curious. Yeah, right there. Because you're, you're, you get, you're, you're, you're getting fucked. Right I'm just wondering if it'll blow you I'll too. I'll because... show you. I'll show you where it does that. Go to that slide again. Okay. You put your flashlight right in there. Right. Go to oh that slide God. right there. <laughs> right you here? see the you see the symbol that looks like headphones? Oh, okay. That that's where you stick your dick, chief. <laughs> oh, okay. It should fit perfectly then. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> No, the, but there's, the thing a, there's about, a clip. There's a clip for hover. The thing uh, about Apple, though, with the whole Thunderbolt port and whatever, it has USBs. I know why they do it. I mean, they because if you own Mac stuff, you probably already have those cables. So yeah, you probably. know what's the point? But again, it's that whole brand exclusivity. And although I, I understand, I do. The way Mac and Apple goes about it is so fucking smarmy. It's like, yeah, I'm good with just being a pleb. I'm good, thanks. Why would I buy that? Why would I buy that? That's just the question. <laughs> Why would I buy it? No, There's no. no initiative to buy this. Like, it's $4,000? I'll tell you why. That power housed in that tiny little box is fucking amazing. I'm not going to deny it. That thing, I don't the have architecture a place for it. The architecture for the M1 Ultra scales based off of the models. You had your Mac Midi, then you had your M1 Max, and now you have your M1 Ultra. And literally, you're getting 24 cores of processing amazingness out of that thing. But again, that fucking price tag is a no. <laughs> well, not just the price tag, but. In the platform, but that's just me. Eight thousand dollars if you maxed it out. Uh, but also, nah, my, other, really? my other thing you is eight terabyte. Go ahead. You you can't you can't adjust that. What you get is what you get. If something yeah. happens to it, right. you have you to have take to it go... to a certified Mac repair place. Yes, and, and it will come with a very large price tag just to get it checked out. You will yep. not be able to repair I'll just this set just it to by Bandit. yourself. Bandit can build. Bandit works as an Apple genius, and she'll do it for free. Whereas, I'll, I'll give her a twenty-five pound bag of Reese's peanut butter cups to fix it. 
you could get away with that, but not everybody <laughs> not has that else, access. Right. But, but whereas <laughs> if you build your own PCs, or maybe you, I mean, I'm sure the folks at Meta PC could probably, you know, make a sweet rig. Will it be priced? Hashtag not yeah? sponsored. Yeah, hashtag not sponsored. As long as Hero well, doesn't ship it, we're good. It'll probably be pricey, <laughs> but at least you know what's going in it, and, yeah. you know, you get to choose everything. And and that I can understand the appeal to these piece-by-piece piece PCs, and that was the concern about Mac. Back in the day, it was made to last. Back in the day, right. it was made to be incredibly functional, you get what you paid for. Nowadays, you're paying mostly for the name and for the really the prestige. But Sierra's again, the people who are going processor. to be buying this, chances are they're going to be company computers because those people who are using them probably won't be able to afford them anyways. Yeah. Like it, now it's... Studios will have 12 of these. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I... No. I, no. Okay, you know how you gave Bandit a bag of Reese's? I'm about to give you a bag of dicks. For oh you to eat. Whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> I just, and again, this is coming from someone who understands what Mac was meant for. I'm not, at least I like to think I do <clears throat> since I Hey, hey welcome, Game Tease. Um, hey, Game Tease, how you doing, sir? I'm assuming you, your gender, sorry. You know, I just... Yeah, shame on you, we're bad. Mac... Mac is just not what it used to be. This, you can say, oh, it's processing power is, you know, X, Y, Z is the best thing since sliced bread or Betty White, which would be blasphemy. <laughs> but uh, in a few years, this will be obsolete anyways. So with your PC, you can take out, <clears throat> take out what you don't like and just, you Only, know, um, replace it. I like to interject there for a little bit. Uh, for a Sorry. second here. I don't think in a couple of years it will be obsolete. If I'm using my past experience owning three MacBook Pros, um, each one of my MacBooks lasted six, seven years. Oh, that's no, about what, that's about standard what, fare for, I, for a good PC anyway. I don't I don't mean obsolete <laughs> as if it dies and never works again. Um what oh, I mean, mean out of date. Yeah, I mean yeah, where they okay. come out with a better model, something oh, with course, them, yeah. something Give improved. It, Give um, it six months, they're gonna have a newer model that that's the latest and greatest, and you know does more than cut cheese for you. Which <laughs> shout out to my dad, he had that happen with the original iPod. Oh um, yeah, yeah. It just looks yeah. like a fucking iPod on steroids. It, like if you my put, dad, like, he had an original something. iPod that looked like a a little brick with like the spinny wheel thing. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. like two weeks after he bought it, a, a newer model came out, and he's like. Can I kind of switch this out? Because this is when they still had FireWire cables. That's how yeah. long ago this was. Oh, good old FireWire. Yeah. And That's what happened with my iPhone 12. Like, and they said no. A month later, the 13 came out. It was so and weird. they said no. He's like, the fuck is this bullshit? You spent all this money, and what do you get for it? Now, luckily, he let my sister and I just kind of, you know, use it when we were growing up. And I would also used the Walkman. Yes, we still used CDs. I had yeah. the Discman. I had the Walkman. Uh, yeah, talk boy. Old technology. So, oh yeah, yeah. Again, old school so, Mac when they had the clamshell and they had the UFO it, satellite looking iMac. Those were good, but this. I, I'm gonna stiff. give you. I'm, I'm gonna burst your bubble a little bit, Oni. I don't this really have a bubble. Yeah, no. This technology. Um, I'm pointing at what Chieftain just closed on us, but that's okay. Um, th this technology, yes, obsolescence is going to be its name in six months after this thing drops or releases, if it's not it's already. Like a car. But, Stop. but, Please. I will say that what they have in modern era, even Apple machines, they're no longer as hateful about right to repair as they used to be because they got the the pants suit off of them recently over that um they're still going to be a means to pop that joker open and replace the solid state hard drives that they have because from what i can see it looks like they have m2 drives or m2 type drives because it's apple they want to be unique but you're still going to pay out the uh, out the ass and sell a, like a arm or a leg to get the components put in there and then you're going to have to sell another part of your body to replace that component because god forbid you put uh 
God forbid you put anything in there on your own and void your warranty. Yeah, right. But um, yeah, it looks like the process. What about it? Looks like it has. Go ahead, Soda, because I've been talking a lot and Chieftain talks a lot too. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Talk. Oh, I was going to say it looks like they're just two USBs, right? So to split that up, well, take a look a... at the front because they got the front panel, which is a couple of USBs, and then they got the back panel, which is another couple of oh, okay. USBs. Um, well, if it's like me, that's I have the like back. ninety. I have like ninety USBs on my phone. Buy you an Apple branded USB hub, then, boy. Oh. They want that money oh, from you. Hey, <laughs> cool. They went up a ton. USB, uh, you know. Their, no, their see, those look like... That's a... Go ahead. Isn't that like your phone inputs right there? That's not USB. No, those are... Those are um, that's probably disc. their... That, that's oh, so that's gonna, definitely uh, two USBs and then, uh, then probably an SD reader or some cor- sort of... Uh, SD reader, these are Thunderbolts. Yeah. And if they're uh, Thunderbolt, they it's probably and... the the connects that the mouse and keyboard uses now for modern Mac because they want to be different. Wouldn't you yeah, just use Bluetooth? Have, they have these here. These are the two USBs that you can. Yeah. Use. But I mean, it's small. It looks like an Apple TV box, to be honest with you. Yeah, they probably just took the some some hard plastic that they use for an Apple TV box and then crammed all the parts in there because you know mm-hmm. Apple nowadays. <laughs> you know and. <laughs> I, I don't I don't mind the Mac Mini existing because basically saying hey we simplified what we do so now you can basically have the basic Mac and plug it into whatever oh, monitor you have I get it but with these new computers like I could I could understand looking back on it the iMac that came out after the original iMac came out so the original iMac was like a dome with a post and then you had your monitor which is really cool great idea go back and then I killed it but okay. now and then after that the iMac was like the screen <laughs> built in with the computer I'm sorry Oni I gotta say this that looks like the iPod shuffle yeah it does <laughs> way back does iPod it shuffle it does it come in other colors no uh, I mean you know, at least they're not asylum you, white but um, nowadays, they don't even include the monitor now. Like, whereas the iMacs that came after the original iMac, you know, you got the computer in the screen, which kind of seemed lame at the time, kind of still was, but whatever. But now you're paying so much for the actual computer that buying a cheap monitor would really defeat the purpose after paying all this money to have all the processing Especially power. Especially for that power that is in that yeah. damn thing. Yeah, you're going to want a very clean, crispy, and, and color accurate you, display. I guarantee you that the monitor that they're showing there, we know it's sold separately. Go ahead to the next. The thing is yeah. a $2,000 monitor. It's a Yeah, it's exactly. It's a $2,000 LED 8K monitor, guaranteed. fucking teed. Yep. Oh, wrong way. Um, I now, worked on one when I was working for a company that got contracted for the History Channel. I actually worked on... A monitor like this that was connected to a PC because the color was better. I'm being a lighter. You need like that was like the top of the line to like, all right, all the lighters get these and all the animation monkeys. You get the shitty ones because you look at gray <laughs> fucking Ooh. models all day long, and it doesn't fucking matter if you go blind. <laughs> now, I I will say I do prefer an LED screen over LCD. I do really. I think I see a yeah, difference. I, get it. Um, I prefer I a think- CRT. But they the, don't make those anymore. I, I definitely is, don't prefer a CRT, but that's because my what the colors were richer. I don't know uh, if Soda can. I don't know if I'm full of shit, but Soda can call. Yeah, me. But, but for LEDs, the LEDs, the the colors definitely are are more. I don't know. They pop better. They they seem more rich. But maybe that could be because somebody actually goes and cleans those screens on a regular basis. <laughs> also, you have a thing called a spider, which they call it a spider because it's a calibrator that hangs in the middle of your screen. And what you do, it's like sits there and it color corrects through the computer and it just corrects it to the perfect um, yeah. setup. So that's what we use in the industry. That's what the lighters use um, for to get the top notch perfect color correct. And like on the on the Mac ones, there there are like two seconds, like boop 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 done. And then uh, 
it would calibrate your screen. But like these monitors here, I have a cool screen and a warm screen. Um, depending because I usually work on the main one that's right in front of me, like right there. The mm -hmm. I, the monitor is just like that's just the extra shit. That's where you guys are, but um, they <laughs> actually have a calibration for that. So yeah. No, but that the thing is, is that no if you're paying that much for a quality computer to mm -hmm. be able to push these numbers up, you're you don't want to just use some random TV monitor you found in your garage. You're going to want to make sure it's something that's going to be as true to your project as possible, or you're really just kind of wasting your money. You can't, if you're shilling out that much money, you can't really just try to pinch a few extra pennies. There's no pennies to pinch. They're yeah. pinching you. Yep. So, you know, I... squeezing sure. blood out of that penny, guys. That, that's so, kind of... That's and, kind of and my I, complaint with Apple, I hope too. My iPhone 12 never even came with a headset. Uh, and that's not me so. trying to take a dig at people who can afford this. This isn't me trying to take a dig at rich versus poor. This is me taking a dig at, does this really make sense? Because it seems like a really hard cash grab. And yeah. Mac really needs to shape up in that regard. Mac has always not... been a pricier brand, though. Yes, but back you then, the name, kind of like when 20 you years ago, 20 years ago, you were paying for the name in terms of this is what we do. This is what we offer. It, well, we I can give you that argument for. in terms of quality. Yes. Yes. Back, but back, that was back then after they had their asylum white phase in the mid 2000s, where just every time you walked in an Apple store, you felt like you needed a straight jacket upon entering. Um <laughs> I don't know, just it was never the same. I mean, like, I purchased for Badger uh, an app, a little MacBook that she still uses. It still works, which is great because it's a 2009 model. But after those MacBooks, it just seemed it was all about the name. I mean, I can't tell you how many students I saw in college with MacBooks. But I don't, I don't know if I would have been able to legitimize a reason for me to use it. Now, maybe it's because of what I took as a major. And before anyone asks, no, it wasn't anything that you would go, oh, my gosh, you're so smart. It's um, <laughs> whatever. We, no one's going to assume that. Good, because <laughs> I, it's not. I'm stupid. Anyways, it's nah, it's, nah, fam. if you like to connect everything in your life to make everything a lot easier. And you want things to be all super nice and clean, and you like to drink your Starbucks, it's probably the computer for you. But damn, nowadays, you took a dig at the Starbucks, Chief. <laughs> I don't drink, I don't, I hate Starbucks. No, I don't that, like coffee. Blame you. it's because that was that's that's what I saw. She's saying and, that people that that essentially like, of course, she's generally she knows she's generalizing, but yeah, it's but like, that's it's, that's it's, what it's I the douchebaggery, it's Not, the douchebaggery part of being. One of those stereotypical Mac users that's that not, just use it to like more, check their like, email. It's more the brand loyal, the brand loyalist. Like I am very much yes. brand loyalist with Android products, but that's because I can integrate it into everything because Android products are open source. And that's the thing is with Apple, it's it is that brand loyalty, but I don't see them. There's I a line. I don't see Mac actually deserving that loyalty anymore. There, there's a yeah. thin line between brand loyalty and brand elitist. And I feel like many, not all, hashtag not all, many of the people that are brand loyalists to Apple are brand elitists or even brand cultists. So. I mean, that there are actual <laughs> statistics. Where when it comes to dating, some people will not date someone who doesn't have an Apple phone. <laughs> what? I <laughs> wish I was kidding. Uh, sounds sounds like a prerequisite to me. Google it. Yes, that's why I'm single. Huh? Why am I going to Google it on my iPhone? I can just go to Safari, right? <laughs> <laughs> she almost smiled. I almost got her to smile there. <laughs> I saw some of the replays and some of the stuff that I do say. I don't think Oni's laughing, but then I see the replay and I see her crack a smile. And actually, think it's funny, but she tries to hold it back, and I can't see her with the glasses on. So I know you think some of the shit I say is funny. 
I know it. Don't trust me, you're hilarious. But you do you do hit the the duds a couple of times. Oh, I hit duds all the time. <laughs> it's like fucking landmine when I'm talking. <laughs> there's another one. But yeah, um, that that is ridiculous. I'm just ha- the reason why. You know what? You go on Max, you can look at porn and not get viruses. Uh, oh, Perfect reason to buy. Correct That's that, me if I'll I'm wrong. I'll spend the extra two grand and not get a virus. Well, here's correct, the thing. That's... Correct me if I'm wrong, Chieftain, but uh, did I actually hear you say that 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 you thought going for this M1 Ultra was ridiculous? Did did I hear you say a pass and not a smash? Yeah, I'm not gonna. I I don't I don't buy. I buy MacBook Pros. I don't buy like tabletops for Macs. I just buy the laptops. Ah. Um, because. I feel that anything that's more than a uh, a laptop is completely overpriced for what I can get for a PC. Um, if I'm doing something at home, I'll buy a PC. If I'm doing something for travel, I use a MacBook Pro. Yeah, I now understand so I your it, position I better. It, I, I <laughs> use it for a different reason of what Oni articulated. I actually use it for creative stuff like editing and animation. But, Which, um, again, makes sense. Yeah. So like, when did but I, I say it wasn't? I, no, you no, like you just making a comparison to like Mac users and I don't I don't fit in that box, so to speak. But now I'm I understand what you were saying. It wasn't offensive. I'm not offended. But No, I'm I'm just uh, wondering because my dad used Mac because he was in the print industry. Right. So using Creative. Photoshop. Like that's what you use Mac. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But and you I'm just saying said... I agree with you. <laughs> but um but I'm saying like some of the people use it like you were saying because they're pretentious pricks and they think they're better than everybody else. And then there are people like me that are like, I need this for Adobe Suite and Maya. And I don't want, like we talked about it before we went live. It's like if I'm doing a convention and we're doing a live at a convention, I'm not going to lug around a big heavy um, uh, laptop where I can just use that and um, a cell phone for my stream deck and do the show that we're doing here all for portability and lighting my lightning my load when I'm going to a convention. Yeah, so <laughs> I would definitely. Though, right? Wow. So I definitely, sense, I definitely say that uh, I now understand your preferential treatment of Apple a little bit more now. Um, I yeah. used to just dog on you, just to dog on you, because I thought it was funny, and and yeah, I personally, I personally have a, a hate boner for for Apple products. I will admit, I of hate course. Apple. Um, it's okay. I there's still a time perfect. and a place. There's a time and, and, and a place for it. And I can definitely was. follow for for the practicality of the capabilities of Apple. I can definitely say that I've used Macs before. I've fixed Macs before. I've, you know, done all kinds of things. And and I got some pr- some pretty aesthetics, but um, I'm not gonna catch me dead buying that shit. <laughs> no, and and the thing is, is that in college, when a lot of your base classes, regardless of what your major was, was going to be, you know, how to formulate a, a proper essay, how to, you know, do math, how to run a basic program. You really don't need a Mac. And it just, it seemed, I understand in certain ways why you'd want one, but they did have computer labs and it just, it seemed really yeah. excessive to have a Mac if I wasn't going to need I- it. If I, I should can't justify not. using it, why would I buy it? So I, I it doesn't make not. sense for me to I've own one. Had, I've had in the past when I was like your on-call, your your phone call away IT guy that I freelanced shit for back in the day when I lived in Chicago. There were people that owned Macintosh computers or Mac computers, and they said, oh, yeah, I just do this because I don't want the viruses, um, but now I don't have the money to replace this fucker. And I'm like, got you. I got this old tower. I'm going to put Linux on there and uh, I'm going to make it it look like Windows so you don't know the difference. There you go. Go ahead. Surf your porn, old man. And they do realize. (laughs) Yeah, I I use Linux. Mainly uh, bigger movie industries use that. I know SpinVFX uses it in Toronto and Atlanta. But uh, Linux is good too. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I don't no like i know in my field hold on i know in my field that linux is a very powerful product but i don't actually i've never actually seen any of the software or any of the any components in the 
movie production or um, art production genre of what Linux could provide. I've never seen any of it's that. It's the software. same thing, dude. It's the same thing. You can run Maya on Linux. You can run Adobe Suite. A soda oh. can attest to this. I'm pretty positive he's used Linux before, but uh, I've I've seen. Let's see, Abe Lincoln, Abe Lincoln, Vampire Hunter, Underworld. Mm. And Titanic, the miniseries, three different productions using Linux up in Canada, where I was up there for three different productions were losing, were using Linux. So I was using Maya with Linux and it's, you run like a, a virtual kind of Windows thing um, for that. Soda, have you ever used Linux? Like, Actually, I like I to get not. off the subject, but I'll wait for her. I'll wait for uh, Hero to come back to talk about the Netflix cash grab, which is our next subject. But go ahead. I have not used Linux, believe it or not. Really? Really? <laughs> wow. Yeah, it, it's just it's the same thing. Um, if I've you never ever re used an, required it, you know, like yep. Um, I oh this this is dating myself. I'm not sure if Oni's ever heard of uh, silicon graphics machines. SGI. Holy shit! I ain't heard about that shit in a long time. Yeah, I worked on SGIs before. Uh, Indigo twos and O twos. This is like those are those high end computers that they used wow. for the original wow. Toy Story. I was trained on those. Those are ten thousand dollars each, the O twos. And uh Wow. Yeah, so great. <laughs> Monitor I, included I, on that or uh no. no. But um <laughs> no. if you if you have an idea of what uh the silicon graphics machines, if you look at the first first Jurassic Park, she goes, Unix, I know this, and she's clicking on the virtual buildings inside the computer <laughs> those are actually the control panels and the desktop monitor and all those like they just that it's in 3d and you click on something instead of like a flat out window that has a folder it's like in 3d and you just click it in there and they're like he's like Damn. unix i know this i'm like no bitch you're in the control panels <laughs> so um so like we would always laugh at that. I'm like this stupid bitch. She's like in the control panels, and no one knows the wiser. Yeah, no one's uh, the wiser because back then Linux was like the hidden underdog that nobody knew about. It's actually it was actually Unix back yep. then. Unix C shell. I failed that program. I failed that programming class twice. <laughs> Honestly, so, I so a bit of history there. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a page out of Oni's book here, and I'm gonna give you a bit of history. Uh, Chieftain, you're right. Unix came before Linux. Linux is actually built off of the original Unix. It's the platform. same code. It's, it, same it's code line. very similar code. Every single Linux machine has a boot scroll that is the exact same mm -hmm. across the board. It's a command prompt, like you see and, in Windows. Yep. Mm. Well, a lot it's of like a lot of machines are only command prompts. So yeah, you go cd dot dot. It goes up cd dot dot slash dot dot. You go go to up to change directory <laughs> is c c n g d i r slash. It's like it was a fucking confusing. And yeah, I don't, they, I don't know where the fuck I was half the time. That I will say, I'm glad they don't call themselves Unix anymore because I was a little confused earlier. Oh, oh no, not not a Unix. Unix, U N I X. Unix is still a thing. There are still brands <laughs> of confused. Unix out there. <laughs> this, this is why we're, English, yeah, we're using Unix. This is why English is difficult because synonyms happen and then you just get lost. Yeah. yeah or we're, words we're that talking. sound the same at least. Yes, and your set, your hair still looks amazing. Thank you. <laughs> I, I still want to see it spiked out sometime. I'm going to silver mine out and spike it. Do it. Or just don't dye it. I I have to... If I don't dye it, it just looks weird. Well, do you... I'm going to ask a dangerous question because I've been on a Brad Mondo binge. Do you use box dye? Yes. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> She she looks like she's about to cry for your hair. I have used box dye, but I was already in the military at the time, and I was trying to just get it to one color. It's not really good for your hair, so if you wanted to go silver fox, bleaching your hair just got infinitely more difficult. Um, but that's a subject for another day.
Anyways. So we're trying to get over to this Netflix topic here. Yes. <laughs> Next, Netflix cash grab. If we can get to 20, I dropped it by 10. Try to do a giveaway if I can find how to, how to do a giveaway. Man, we could have almost talked about another Netflix thing going on too. Netflix oh, the lawsuit? Pro? The lawsuit? Oh. Yeah. Oh. In Texas. Yeah. Lawsuit is successfully suing Netflix at the moment over oh. over the cuties dilemma. Now, oh, I heard about that. Yeah, we'll see yep. how that goes. There, there are a couple points in in both cases where I can kind of see what I can kind of see where they're coming from. But um, again, no nonsense. Mm-hmm. Well, when you know the guy that founded the Sundance Festival uh, is a nonce himself. Convicted. Um, oh. Brings to question why that movie won the Sundance Festival Award. <laughs> um, I never understood, I never mm-hmm. understood nonsense. Like, women are hot. Like, legal age women are hot. Why are you going to be a nonce? I don't understand it. I, I don't get it. I don't know. Women are awesome. I don't, I don't understand it. It's just... The whole premise is disgusting to me. Yeah. Well, anyways, this particular topic is about Netflix getting too greedy and pissing off their subscribers because they are now. Yeah. Again, it it looks like people were fine with the price hikes with Netflix because there weren't very many complaints about it, except for, you know, handful here and there, which I think is stupid because it's gotten to the point to where you subscribe to these streaming services and it's now costing more than cable. Um, But they are now, they just recently put out an announcement saying that they are going to create a way for people to share accounts legally. (laughs) And their intent is to stop account sharing and in, in a way that will also net them more money. So they're creating a way to have sub accounts and charging extra for the sub accounts. So let's say that Soda, which he has already offered many a time, wants to share his account <laughs> with Oni. Well, technically Badger has me on an account or something. That, I don't that, know. that will work too. Allegedly. But I, like, but I like this this example better. Okay, sure. <laughs> yeah, we'll roll with it. <laughs> so Soda wants to share his account with Oni. Well, Currently, they have no way of stopping that. Well, they do, technically. But what they want to do is stop people from sharing accounts outside of geographical addresses. So, basically, if they detect your account is being logged into on a device that's not assigned to your address, they want to stop that unless unless the individual pays extra and shares the sub- account with the other individual in this so case i would have been Oni. screwed anyways i would have been screwed anyways because it's like why why are you logging in from this part of georgia when so-and-so lives in that part of georgia or you're in north well, you carolina say you're now. on vacation i mean your child's can, on vacation somebody's you know, you know uh, the, the details are fuzzy at the moment but i'm sure they've got that worked out I i'm mean, almost willing to bet they might as well just start charging you for <laughs> the amount of data that you consume I feel like they're going to go Don't give them any direction. ideas. <laughs> yeah, Do well, not Netflix. give them ideas. They because these already... fuckers are greedy. Okay, and me saying things out loud isn't going to make them any less or more greedy. I'm just going to say that's You're probably right. the direction they're going in. Eh, I don't know if they'll go that far. They know the limit before they start losing lots of money. I don't know. A lot of these companies tried NFTs. Yeah. What do you want I me mean, to say? That's about next that week. We'll be having NFTs next week on Lagnet. Yo, and it's insulting. Com. Don't watch it with your mom. It's insulting when you see ads, advertisements that say, if, if you're not getting into the NFTs and Bitcoin business, you deserve to be broke. I'm like, that's an ad? Yeah, I've seen it. What if I'm already broke? I'm like, right. all, all I can think of is. Um, I don't like the entirety of my life relying on this little piece of data that on a whim can get stolen. 
um, try to tell me I deserve to be broke, I will fucking choke you out. Sorry, I'm feeling a little aggressive. So. Yeah. Yeah, we know Chieftain started. So, yeah. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> really, I don't have a whole lot to say on. Or... Wow. We went there. At the end of the day, we all get a group hug and say, great job on tonight's stream, everybody. Yep, a have group a good hug night. Goodbye. around the neck. Yeah. With a rope. <laughs> I totally Anyways. Wa- I totally want to do a bit challenge. Like if we get like 25,000 bits that we get only a full green goblin suit and just ride on a glider at South by Southwest, just yelling at people and throwing like those little grenade bombs. Like I'll get you Spider-Man. <laughs> I'm, I almost want to, awesome would that be? I almost oh, want to see how much helium would be required to get lift done. because you know, I, Get a hover, like get an actual gliding board, and you know helium make that bitch float. Get a fan. <laughs> well, she's going float far around. On this one. I'm sure well, it'll work. I'm sure we could get it to work with Oni, or at least it'd be easier to get it to work with Oni than it would be with me or you, Chief. I mean, it'd be yeah, a short, true. short little green goblin, but you know. <laughs> yeah. If you go, f- there is the green goblin mask on uh, free Freeverse. I think I downloaded it too. I think I have the green goblin 3D model. I think you did in here. You got freaking excited one day and just started downloading a bunch of shit. And I sat there. And I did. You do I have an I mean, Iron Man. I have this. I have the Iron Spider. I have Spider Man twenty ninety nine. I have a piece of the uh, Winter Soldier mask on the bottom. I have the Mandalorian helmet. I have the Stormtrooper helmet. I have the Luke Skywalker X Wing fighter helmet. I had the 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 Y Wing helmet. I went fucking crazy, dude. <laughs> Anyways, back to the topic at hand. I really don't have a lot to say about this. Basically, these fuckers want to st- to stop account sharing, even though they already say in their TOS that they don't that that you're not allowed to share accounts. But they want to stop it. So obviously, they know it happens, but they want to stop it and then monetize it. Um, they corporate greed on there. I thought you could share with five people within your household. Within the household, you could sh- you could have up to five screens on the same account. Okay. Um, but yeah, I don't have much I'm else to done. say. Anything I'm already else? done watching all my shows. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. So, so my thought is, if you got some uh, some new show you've heard about on a streaming service, subscribe for a month and then cut that shit off after you've binge watched it. It's the only <laughs> way to go. Yeah. I know they. Right. Ha- I know. I know the streaming. I know the streaming services. They hate churn. And they don't want churn. They want you constantly subscribed, or they want you to subscribe and forget that you're subscribed, because they want that constant dough coming in. That's that. Mo- that's the model that every gym subscription has worked off of for the last however many years. <laughs> <laughs> they, I get my money's worth. I even take showers there, so I use their water. <laughs> <laughs> you evil, evil man. <laughs> oh yes. And he gets to see the penises. No, it's a single bathroom. It's a anytime. Fix. Oh, if you, would have, if you would have seen the ho- if you would have seen the hover, you would know that because I was wearing an anytime fitness shirt. I won that shirt by beating someone out in a cardio contest. Something that oh, you, you didn't swore do off that you sworn that you'd never do again. That was, that's when I was doing cardio because my doctor said I need to do cardio because I have high blood pressure, <laughs> not high blood pressure, uh, high cholesterol. And I said no, I'm not doing it. And then I go, what do I have like six months to live? And he goes. Yeah, about that. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> the morbid jokes. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes, this uh, chick. This, I mean, uh, dude. Uh, you want say um, confused? Damon already? Mills, the yeah. voice actor, Damon Mills. Accusations and the accuser oh, backing down okay. Netflix and their cash. Oh, that's different. Sorry. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So accusations of the accuser. Yeah. I know you know a little bit about this one, Oni. Did you want to pick it up, or did you want me to just lead off? I mean, you might as well. Is that an actual photo of them, or? Yeah, that's Damon Mills. They look oh. CGI'd. Like they they look very feminine. <laughs> no, like they look. It looks like something video or not video. Like, but, did uh, someone airbrush that... that photo or something? Because I don't I mean, know. It doesn't like... look like it. I, I, I see it on. on a bigger screen than you guys do. Um, no. 
I don't think so. Well, the long long story, very short, is um, he has been accused of sometime in his twenties, something like nine years ago. He, um, we will say, uh, took advantage of a fifteen slash sixteen year old boy and was the aggressor in an abusive relationship more or less which he claims was uh fully consensual which the individual the unnamed individual because he he kept his identity secret accused him basically had a an entire document released released out about a week ago oh we have to hydrate i just read that sorry yeah you're fine yeah you're late <clears throat> but uh anyways this particular guy accused damon mills of a whole long line of things that were let's just say very bad and we talked about this a little bit last week i think yes yeah we did but this week it came out that the individual backed off and completely withdrew all accusations what it looks to, what what this looks like to me is that Damon Mills he did send he it's it's official he sent a cease and desist through his, his legal team to the accuser and basically gave him to a certain point in time to fully withdraw all accusations or face legal repercussions and the person definitely withdrew all accusations so in my eyes Damon Mills silenced his accuser and didn't let it go to it, it, it basically he didn't have his day in court because the accuser withdrew everything so um damon mills who is one of the accusers of vic mignona now basically is a 100 percent full-fledged hypocrite because they're one of those people he's part of the group of people the circle of people that say uh believe li listen and believe or you know believe all accusations or some bullshit you know guilty until proven innocent type of line of thinking um so what now people you guys took vic mignona's almost his entire life away on false accusations verifiably false accusations because no, no convictions were landed on vic and yet you let this guy walk free why because he happens to be part of the alphabet community. I <laughs> took it I took it as I took it on a completely different spin from your description, Hero. I took it as he didn't silence his vic the victim, but maybe he was falsely accused. That's what it's that's I know that wasn't your intention, but that's what I heard. Mm. And but I, I, I can see both sides there. So there's always their side, your side, and the truth, right? So oh, yeah. But it's really hard to tell, and you don't want to make a snap judgment on somebody because of what uh, they look, if they're part of a particular community, or what happened. So I'm always hesitant to uh, accuse somebody of doing something. I based admit on to being rather harsh on this particular topic. A little bit, I think you are a little bit, and that's but, coming from me. And I'm, I'm, I'm like, go for it here. I'm going fuck. And, but um, one second, it, I will sound sketchy to me, bro. It sounds entirely sketchy, but I got to say, I admit to being harsh to it, but that's because this is one of the guys that is accusing Vic Mignona and they're not let, they've banned and blacklisted Vic from everything. He can't go to conventions right. without, without yeah, yeah, yeah. people attacking the convention circuit. He can't, he can't get any work without the employer that hires him getting like mobbed and dogpiled for hiring him because they just they just outright blame him and accuse him of of being guilty when he's never seen a day in court he he had a lawsuit that happened like a year or two ago against funimation and the people that accused him and it's stalled out because of covid nothing's happened with it as far as i've seen and this guy's one of the accusers of vic mignona and then he turns around and he files a cease and desist I against did. his own accuser. So, hello, so hypocrisy. A little bit of more context there is what you're saying. Um, yeah, there, there, I'm sorry. I was very yeah. little context, but it, it's just 
one of yeah. those things. I'm sorry, Oni, go ahead. It, they work for Funimation, right? Or Vic Mignona worked for Funimation, correct? Vic Mignona worked for Funimation, and so does this guy. Well, I guess it's Crunchyroll now. Funimation uh, no longer exists. Well, no, but for what <coughs> does, for the time they being, have a it was. I mean, I'm going to assume. Sure, I don't I, know. I, I don't want to misgender somebody. <laughs> but uh, it's God the forbid. Fact that Funimation did have someone who was a voice actor, who is currently in prison for nonce images. The original voice actor for the character England in the show Hitalia. Oh, the no. original Axis Power Hitalia. That guy. That's why when they when Hitalia had their new series, the uh Hitalia uh World. because um, the first series was Axis Power Hitalia. The new one was uh, World Hetalio. Whatever it it had a very it, it was the updated art style, very attractive, very pretty, and England's voice actor was different. I don't even know if it was the same voice actor in pa the movie Painted White. Yeah, take that how you want. Anyways, <laughs> in that movie though, like <laughs> after that, the Sorry. voice actor wasn't there, and I'm like. Huh, it's a different voice. I wonder what happened. Googled it and I'm like, oh shit. That is cool. He's hanging out with the original voice of Meg from Family Guy. Oh god. I don't get that joke, but I'm also not a Family Guy fan, so whatever. But uh, yeah, no. No, that voice actor is in prison. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I'm like, I, I was like, oh, you know. Okay, you know, maybe he just couldn't work it for a while. Oh, never mind. Like going. <laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't. You don't like where like, this is going. <laughs> like, 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 accusations are one thing. He was found guilty in the United Kingdom court. This guy Ooh. was going away. Ooh, that's hard. That's hard to do. I, well, I th I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure he was in the United Kingdom. So yeah, he's not I don't coming have a out for one. Um. <laughs> yeah, so it would Actinova, that is fake news. It Family would not Guy surprise is not me. overrated. And the reference is the first season of Family Guy, um, Meg was voiced by somebody else other than Mila Kunis. And then she didn't sign on for her second season and pretty much fucked up her career. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um, I liked Cleveland show better. Mm. Ooh. Ah, uh, that's just nasty. Ooh. Nice. Look, I enjoyed the Cleveland show for a little bit, and then I was like, okay, I've had enough of this. But then again, My I was that way. That was yeah. th then again, I was also that way with Family Guy. There was only so much of Family Guy I could tolerate. I was in the military uh, when I was found Cleveland when I found the Cleveland show and American Dad, which eh, it's pretty good. But I don't know. I just I can't blame you acting. I, I didn't, and then I found South. Well, I didn't find I. You know, as an adult, so I was allowed to watch South Park. But of course, these were some of the later seasons. So I'm like, okay, I kind of, I kind of get it. I respect the timeliness of the show, but again, um, would not surprise me if it turned out. Do I see a wild some... Rio in the chat? Do I see a wild Rio in the chat? Um. He's hiding. But yeah, with Funimation, it would not surprise me if more things came out. Ah, there I he know, is. I know there's a little bit of drama going on in there, so. Advent Health's own CG Rio. <laughs> <laughs> I drove by where you work. <laughs> Creepy. Oh, I had I have to take that. Actually, I drove I drove by there on my way. No, I drove my by there on my to my doctor's office. But uh. I don't like how my who else but Quagmire is really low. That was like she you said. A, looks like you gotta do some tweaking there. Anyways, I, uh, I long, long story that. short, I think this bastard's a hypocrite. He silenced fucking his ac accuser. Um, 
Yeah, I know I'm being harsh, but um, you know, the hypocrisy really. I'm all about that. Everybody, I'm, I'm all about that equal treatment. So if uh, y'all are gonna blacklist Vic Mignona, y'all better blacklist Damon Mills. Just saying. <laughs> ah. We're not saying to the dead zone. <laughs> Anyways, we got something else there, Chief. Oh, I'm so glad you're done. If, uh, Halo. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, again. Oh. Do we have again. to? Yes. Yes. <laughs> because the news is so, the, the salt is real with this one. Yeah, no fucking shit. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to crack my back. So, to, to the reason why require. this... The reason why this is the story that keeps on giving is... Because it doesn't know when to stop. It, it, well, the, the showrunners don't know when to stop. So the people that were in charge of Halo, the live-action movie, have already quit. Both of them. <laughs> What? And the first season hasn't even dropped yet. And if that isn't enough of a red flag for you, it's come out that they also oh, so good. That it's come out that they also never played or followed any of the lore of Halo. <laughs> oh my god! It gets no better. Yeah. That's so fucking two hundred fifty-three drafts. 263 wow. drafts for oh, the first sorry. nine episodes before they got a draft that they liked. What's up, Rio? It's good to see you, brother. I mean, hey, at least they went for the, you know, it has to be good, hopefully. Someone call Life so, Alert. Yes, we need Life Alert because there's more. Oh, oh. no. Fuck. The Fake showrunners, the showrunners have been quoted saying, we looked at the lore and the amount of it and said there's no way that we can turn this into live action, so we're going to make our own. Well, usually Are when the game goes, the me? live action is good, right? It How do we that much lore? It gets better. Makes... Microsoft said we will greenlight this as long as you follow the lore to a degree. And they That's turned really around and said, no. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, okay. I mean, the game sucks, so it doesn't really matter. So. Fuck <laughs> you, dude. I'm sorry, but... It is. It doesn't suck. It's because you can't play it and you get fucking owned. No. Keep, I'm on, gonna, playing hey. your 15, keep on playing your shitty 15-year-old game and let the oh, adults play Halo. I gotta, oh, yeah. I gotta say, look, look. <laughs> I am not... A lore expert on Halo. What I am is I believe in giving your fans something to work with. I believe in if you already have an established customer base, reward them for being fans. I believe <laughs> in... I'm reading the chat. I'm sorry. No, I don't no, mean fine. to interrupt you, but I think Actinova is talking to Soda. It's like because he camps in... He camps in buildings and gets fucked every time. There's no <laughs> building to camp in. You yeah. camping little bitch. I knew Soda was a fucking camper. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to fucking deny him. Okay. I'm not going to deny him. Dip, 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 go dip, look, I told you. Go look on my Soda, uh, my, my stream. There's, I'm really camping in. Like, He's acting like, over those fucking facts. Oh, hey, by the way, uh, do you have any of your League of Legends streams on your account? Oh, I want to see those. Ooh, maybe. <laughs> no reason. Actually... Let everyone else die, and he picks up all the loot. <laughs> and legal Legends, that's not how that game works. <laughs> I don't know. I don't play that game. But anyways, I I just gotta. It's too busy banging chicks. <laughs> I am, or you are? No, me. I was. Oh. I, I'm just. I'm just saying. Like, look. They didn't have to tell the lore and the people that say, hey, follow the lore to fuck off. They didn't have to say no. There is an entire universe for Halo. 
Yeah. There is plenty of material to work with. They didn't even I already have, downloaded that helmet too. They did not have to make a they didn't have to make a story that involved Master Chief. There are other stories in the Halo universe that there that don't involve the Master Chief. They could have done something that just didn't involve anything with the main storyline. They could have followed a a Spartan team somewhere random. They had an entire actually, you know, Chieftain already knows because he worked for Rooster Teeth at one point. They had an entire story arc about a Spartan team mm -hmm. in as a C CG show back in what was it the mid to early two thousands. Yeah, I think based on two primary colors. <laughs> well, not just red versus Oni, what's blue. the matter? What's the matter, Oni? No, just the your stupidity. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's and now that's not. I'm sorry, Acton Nova. I'm just gonna have to say no. I don't agree. Halo without the Master Chief isn't necessarily not Halo. There's a lot in that universe. That, yeah, that it's that was shitty game in between the two Halos. That's you, well, get, there's that. Sh it, you get that shit game. There's that yeah. too. But I'm talking about they made books, they made comics, they made a, a lot of stuff because of Halo. Yeah. And I only actually, me personally, I only recently found out about it within like the last four or five years because I right. thought Halo had died off years ago. <laughs> I have a question for Oni. So here's a here's a straight up comparison. Is there more lore with Halo than Star Wars? <laughs> I'm gonna say no. Arguably, no, but uh, argue, it's a serious. It's a it's a legitimate no, question. I, 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 have, I, I have. Were, a, I thought you were trolling, Chief. Did. No, I'm not a. No, I, I am not a I have Halo an fanatic of, because uh -huh. I did not play Xbox growing up. So just right. keep that in mind. Yeah, to sure. my knowledge. No. However, we also have to remember Halo has only been around for a fraction of the amount of time Star Wars has been in existence. Which is my point. And they make so, shit tons of movies that have canon. And it's in fucking insulting to a consumer of entertainment and a production person to say that they have too much content. What? No, motherfucker. You're just too fucking lazy to play the fucking game and read the lore. It's not hard. They uh, made a Lord of the Rings book, uh, Lord of the Rings movie, which has a lot more lore. I think Hero went into talking about the green fields of whatever for three pages. fucking pages. Three pages. And, but they can't fucking do a Halo movie because it's well, too hard. No, Fuck let me. You. Too hard. It's a show. But There's also, my weekly rage right there. Sorry. All right, I'm done. Bullshit. No, what I was going to say, maybe assuming they're you know viewership is not going to be people who play halo i mean that's here and here's that the way. problem with that that's fucking stupid why well, well look why? at world of warcraft i guarantee you 90% of the world of warcraft movie didn't play world of warcraft I'm just saying i, I got <clears> like ser seriously i'm i got to make this point like this is something else that i'd seen Oni, somebody else real quick about. and then we're we'll no, going to Oni after, real quick after i i got i just got to say this because why would you decide to change your target audience on a franchise that has lasted damn near 20 fucking years? We are mm -hmm. close to the 20 nice year mark of Halo. Mm -hmm. And the fans who kept this franchise ticking, who kept asking for more games, who kept wanting more games is going to be what is going what is your target audience like seriously that's going to be your target audience and See, then you're going to go to make this show excuse me you're going to go and make this show and then you're going to be like oh fuck that i want to appeal to people that are also not fans and then they completely ignore the people that are fans if you were to by the way, in my opinion, if you were to make a show that's going to appeal to the fans, follow to a degree of lore. You don't need to be perfect on lore. I, I know I've butted heads against Chieftain on this at some point or another, at one point, when yeah. it comes to lore. Shock. You need to I have... I really feel, <laughs> You need to follow the lore to a degree. It doesn't have to be perfect canon. If you give a nod... 
to actual lore or have something that involves the actual lore, you're going to appeal to a fan. A real fan is going to like it if you somewhat follow the story. And you can also possibly pick up new fans on the way. You can actually scoop up what I've heard some people call normies. Here's a reality check for y'all. If you don't already like... Fuck you, Chieftain. <laughs> if you don't already like Halo, chances are you're not going to be interested in the Halo right. show. And you get, like, seriously, you want that hardcore fan customer base. Just giving a nod to Acton over there for what he said there. You want that oh, hardcore fan scary. base. I'm just saying it's probably a 10, 15 percent. As it stands with the information that I just delivered, the information that came out about this show, how much you want to bet they're going to flop. It's going to be DOA. It depends well, on how good they, it is. If they don't stick to the original storyline, it's not going to last but one season. It's going to be. You know it's already like been that. greenlit for two. Like it's gonna be like the live action. It's gonna be like the Cowboy Bebop of Paramount Plus. They're gonna cancel season a... two before you season like that one callback? finishes. Like that callback? Oh yeah. No, oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure there are people who loved that who probably didn't know what Cowboy Bebop was. What yeah, it looked fucking awesome. I I couldn't watch. The, I'm not a big anime fan, but um, from what I saw in the imagery of that, it looked cool. But if they don't stick to the storyline, but I noticed completely ADHD moment here. There is a warthog in the reflection of the Spartan helmet. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I'm surprised. I, didn't say I, like that. I'm going to, I'm going to definitely say that a lot of this stuff looks cool. It, it looks good, but if there's no story, if, if, if it's all sizzle and no, no meat, then it's not going to be oh, good. I completely agree with you. It's going to, it's going to be DOA. If they have 25 different scripts, it's Where's this going to be streamed? Is it going to be streamed somewhere? Like... Paramount, Plus. Paramount Plus. Oh, wow. And, and yeah, it's like again, they've had 263 different drafts for the first nine episodes. Well, maybe if they actually spent more time playing the game, they would have like one or two screenplays already set because they would have the reference. Instead of looking at pictures of the characters, oh, this looks cool. Let's model it in 3D in a ZBrush. And uh, let's just make it look realistic and people will go watch no 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 here, here we go here we go i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and throw this out there completely what if this is an, complete, an utter rug pull and this is just a live action red versus blue oh my god <laughs> that'd be fucking hilarious it's like oh where's carolina in uh connecticut and they're, they're trying to get on the scoreboard that'd be fucking hilarious they probably gave them all How? the models to use on this thing yeah i have you know, you want some fuck something fucked up? I actually have a Spartan model in Maya. <laughs> well, I'm not have surprised. one from the game. But, Which, um, what season was it? Red. Was it season three of Red versus Blue that you worked on? Ten. Oh, my bad. That the good, the good one. The one that was bad. The the one that the one that I had to like do all the lighting for outside of in game footage. I did all the lighting for that. <laughs> like I did all the key lighting and I all did the individual shots. So when you have, I did two different jobs. I was the key, I was the lead lighting artist and I was the junior lighting artist. So I set up the entire scenes and then the entire set, virtual set, and then each camera, I set the lights up for that. So I was doing about 35 shots a week. Jesus. Yeah. And they were got mad at me for leaving at 9 PM at night. I'm like, I'm going to bed. No, like they're looking at me. They have like knapsacks underneath their desk. I'm like, that's not healthy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'd be and like, you, that's a hard fucking no. Mm -hmm. I applied for the lead lighting <laughs> yeah, see, artist position. This there. is the funny thing about what Chieftain was just saying that we're not allowed to teach our students about the industry, about working like long hours. We're not allowed to say any of that. That's oh, man. stupid. Really? Yeah, you. Do. I guess you missed that meeting. All right, my daughter's knocking on my yeah. door. She's not hearing me. Well, yeah, they Emma's told us not to, to... What was the word that they used? Right. It is, you know, but they were like, yeah, don't tell them that they're going to be working 12, 14, 18-hour days and seven days a week. But I'm like, they're going to be. 
like, why would we lie to the students? It's not a nine to five job 90% of the time, you know? Right. I don't know. I was told that in my undergrad and masters that that was going to happen. And that's how you, that, this is probably why, because then had people drop out like, oh, I want 95. Fuck that shit. But, um, yeah. I, n it never, like, I'd always come in at the end of a, of a project. And they're like, oh, we need all this shut shit done quickly. And it was always like crunch. They come in and like hire chieftain on captain crunch time. And, uh, <laughs> I'd have to fucking be up till 10 p.m. every day at Disney Interactive Studios because they didn't let you leave because they are family and everyone should leave together. Fuck your real family. <laughs> but right. we all leave together. I'm like, no, fuck that noise. <laughs> so that, that was crazy. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if they... Then they're not going to stick to the story. It's not going to go more than when you say they signed for two seasons. Is that what he said? Uh, I think he said, yeah, too. Yeah, it's not... I don't I don't, I don't know, Oni. What do you think? It's, I don't think it's going to go past two seasons, then. Well, I'm not ordering another streaming service, so I will not watch it. No. On Paramount, so I don't I've think got 90 already, so... Yeah. All I'll right. watch The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel on, uh, Maisel on uh, Amazon Plus. It actually won awards. It's actually a good show. Nice. But, yeah, <laughs> I... I it, it probably won't go past two seasons. They can't. They can't pay industry people to give it four stars, right? That doesn't work like that. <laughs> they they did that with the Halo game, four stars from GameStop. Da, 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 da. And then it's like, they won't be able to pull that shit with Paramount Plus. They'd be like, just no one will watch it. <laughs> well, they. I I already wonder how much. I already wonder how how good of an audience they can get on Paramount Plus because what's on Paramount Plus? They only got Star Trek. And they've driven that shit into the fucking dirt. They should just pack it all that shit together. Let you pay one B and get it over with. That's <laughs> iCarly. No oh, god, <laughs> dude, iCarly bomb. My friend was one of the writers on Wizards of Waverly Place with Selena Gomez. That's actually kind of cool because that was one of those cool kids shows. <laughs> yeah, he the dude is so like he does like random. What is the non cool shit. kid show? Can I add? Uh, um, Hannah Montana. Most of everything Disney. <laughs> Hannah Montana. I'll be honest. Uh, was I it, didn't. Was that the Johnny Danger? What the hell is that called? That show? Uh, I don't remember. I don't know. Like my nephews love that. Like something Danger. I can't remember the name of the show. Uh, I'll I'll be honest when. I, when I was growing up, I didn't give a shit about any of the live action Disney shit. Like, like n none of the Disney kids live action shows appealed to me at all. I was all about them cartoons. <laughs> uh, I gotcha. Well, they weren't thinking about that when I was a kid. We had Saturday morning cartoons. <laughs> Saturday morning black cartoons. The only right. reason for kids to wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning to watch their cartoons. That's right. Get your cereals in front of the 90,000 pound TV. <laughs> Go get your Pop-Tarts. Mm. Watch a bunch of honeycomb <laughs> commercials. Honeycomb yeah, alphabets. Tell you. Oh, oh boy! He was good shit, man. I miss Speed Racer and the real He Man. Yeah, Danger he Mouse. Ninja Turtles. I think Oni oh, talked geez. about Danger Mouse a while back. I love you. Oh man. yeah, Danger Mouse. Forgot about Danger. That was in English. Uh, Rocky and Bullwinkle. Yeah. That was a Canadian show, wasn't it? <laughs> it yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I it's think like it was. Moose and Squirrel. <laughs> now was something the... completely irrelevant. <laughs> right? I, I, I'm I'm good on this. We can close the book on this unless you got right. more. Well, right. There's no more topics. That's, That's it. it. Well, shit. The fuck? Well, well, shit. We flew through a lot of topics really fast tonight. All right. I think we're keeping Oni awake. Are you okay, Oni? I'm, I have not slept well this week. Um, uh. So I, I'm yeah. sorry. I don't mean to be no, short-tempered. Um, it's okay. I don't think we saw it as short-tempered. <laughs> but I, I also kind of wanted to add something about the Halo thing. Oh, go, yeah, go ahead. Games don't have a good reputation being taken from their original media to the big screen. What's the point of telling a story without a fucking foundation? 
Mm. You don't even have to play the games. Highly suggest you at least play a few minutes. But they have these things called Wikipedia pages. You can mm. even go to the Wikia page or the fandom. That would be Plus someone would have to read. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you know what? You're I mean, right, Soda. There's a lot of people in the industry these days that don't even know how to read. So, Silent they Hill. Oh, they probably don't want to. I mean, Silent Hill. Try to have a college kid um, read a book. They'll be oh like, my "What?" God. Hey, we well, give them I, the books and they don't read them. I will say, exactly. reading fiction is difficult for me. I will say that. What? What? I like nonfiction. If I can't glean the information from the words, I it doesn't capture my attention the same way. And Says it, the person that knows every single fucking race in Star Wars. I find that a little hard I don't hard know to every swallow. single race, okay? I don't know every single race. <laughs> I can read. Oh, yeah, this is bizarre it's to information. me. No, it, but that's information about something fake, but it's the information. You, okay. tell, you give me a novel, it's so difficult for me to stay focused. But if you give me individual Wikipedia page articles... I can at least glean the information I want. You know, I can, I can filter the words much faster. Um, so You're fiction. Probably one of like a handful of people I've met in my life that of people that read books. I'll, I'll clarify that. Of I don't people read that read, so much those fiction. are things with words in them, right? Yeah. yeah right. Okay. Good job, chief. I'll give you a gold <laughs> star right. for that one. Word, words are hard. We actually I mean, had to read. I, I I've just got to say, Oni, like you're probably one of I'm going to even go as far as to say four, maybe three people I've met in my life that like to read or that do read consistently that only likes nonfiction. Most of the people that I know of that I've met in my life that do like to read. Prefer fantasy or sci fi. I've met one person that prefers political intrigue. And I found that insane as well. <laughs> well, here's the thing. It's because with fiction, part of it's the way people tell a story. Sometimes it's it's the the wording and everything coming together and having a, you know, focusing on it. And I've read a couple books where they decided to take it from one direction by the beginning of the book to a different direction at the end. And I'm just like, why would you do that? That made no sense. How dare you? So bummed me out. But with nonfiction, it's like you can break that up and you can always go back to reference it. You know, and I, I, I've always really liked that more. But back to the video games being turned into anything other than video games or comic books. Whenever someone tries to turn into a movie or a TV show, Silent Hill has never had a very good rendition because they don't. They pull sort of what they want from the mo from the games, but it's not without. They miss a lot of the context. It's like, okay, cool, you got Pyramid Head. You know. Do you know why honest, he existed? Do you know to, why he existed? You, to to be honest about that, Silent Hills. First of all, the thread of story across all the Silent Hill games. Loose. Very it's very, very loose. vague. It's very strange. It starts out with a psychological horror story mm -hmm. and it ends up with this weird monster dimension story. So Sizzly is back. No, and, and that's the thing though, but, but there's a reason why there's a reason why it does that to an extent. I mean, yes, some game, some of the games were much better than others, but what's like, the like point? Seriously, of you, you start with this, this psychological horror and then you move throughout several games and even comics, by the way. Mm -hmm. And you have an actual world of monsters in this Silent Hill where it's like just this alternate dimension that's ruled by the these two sisters and this one other dude. And like it goes from the whole world of Silent Hill being about this man, his mental trauma that drove him to do something that he never believed he would do to this story about a blood god that you had to sacrifice to so that it could be reborn like yeah no, i mean okay yeah but at the same time then why would you choose silent hill of all gay video games to make a movie about silent hill movies have never people seen... who fucked up resident evil <clears throat> the multiple Dude, resident man. evils the only reason why yeah. they went okay was because of the visual appeal but again what's the point of trying to tell tell a story 
when you don't follow the story. If you don't understand mm. why the story is being told the way it is, why make it? Don't, like don't, I don't know don't who do would, I don't know who looked at Silent Hill and thought that oh we can make an amazing movie out of this. Wait a minute, this story just there's no there's too much to this they, entire story to make this a real ass movie because the story doesn't flow in any jointed sensible manner it's like saying that you could fucking make a movie a movie out of the kingdom hearts series somebody tell me that that can happen and i will i will i've got i've got a fucking I've got a fucking bridge to sell you if you say it could happen. Do you want it to be good or do you want it to just happen? You can't have both. I think it could happen. It can. can. The first Silent Hill the first Silent Hill video game, when they remade it, they decided to tell a different story with the same elements. So I mean yeah, definitely weird, but I mean even they didn't quite follow canon exactly. They took it in a different direction, too. The only reason why the Sonic movies have been... Or the Sonic movie, I should say. And this, you know, the... A weighted sequel for most people. Is even on anyone's radars. Is because they still took the inspiration from the game. And are telling this at least a story. They understand... Because there was also an anime. Remember, there was a Sonic the Hedgehog anime yep. and a 90s cartoon. There were three 90s cartoons. And then there were the comics. <laughs> Sonic can ex- Sonic has been in different dimensions. So dimensional hopping is not alien to the Sonic universe. Um, here, here's, here's something that I'm going to say now to clarify... I did say earlier that if you're going to make a movie out of a video game or out of an existing story, you should most certainly follow some type of lore in that story. But I liked the Sonic movie that they did. I really liked it. I thought it was good. They still followed at least something from the lore. They had a strong basis Based on pre-existing knowledge, such as, obviously, Sonic is a blue hedgehog, runs really fast, cool. Dimensional hopping happens. Robotnik, insane genius, has lots of little mechanized robots. The same thing, whatever, robots. He's got robots. And Mm -hmm. is basically trying to capture the energy of the Chaos Emeralds. Not a difficult story to, to try to adapt... Not the first time there's been some dimension hopping. So, okay, the most complex story, no. But that also means a lot could go wrong. But they at least did it. And and apparently, successful enough to get a sequel, okay? So, clearly there's some I, love going into that project. I am but, <laughs> waiting for the sequel. I want the sequel. <laughs> um, Badger really wants to watch it because it's got tails. Tails is Badger's favorite character in that series. Um, Tails sucks. By the way, Miles Tails Crower is also royalty, technically. Um, That's pretty pretty fancy. Um, Let's think of other video games that didn't do well as movies. Oh, wait. Doom has never (laughs) done well as a movie. (laughs) Look, okay. I will say that I was pleasantly surprised at the rage mode scene just saying which one was that one uh, okay so that one was more of a doom what was it doom 3 is that doom where they did reference? the first person shooter one it, it, the it first was... person shooter sequence yes where, where, yes, okay. where yeah, yeah that yeah, yeah. that um, was pretty cool i thought that thing. was pretty cool but that in was about the only thing i liked out of that movie but that's the thing back Doom 3 had a very different feel from the first two Doom games, which, okay, yeah, hindsight 2020 it wasn't as bad as we thought it was, but it, it was definitely a different direction. So the movie made sense as a tie-in, sort of, except they still didn't follow the story. I, I think um, they more then Doom followed. Annihilation happened, and then it's like, perhaps I judged you too harshly. 
<laughs> I, I will good. definitely I... say that that Doom movie, if if you could give it any credit to in, to anything, is that it followed more of the it more followed the lure from. I, th- I think it was Doom three than anything else. But you, can, I don't it know if you could call that demon. more. It had more than one demon. Okay. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> um, also, the BFG was okay. It was it was all right. Um, but other movies haven't movies or shows haven't done well when being adapted. Well, Game of Thrones season eight apparently got thrown right in the t- garbage. Um, yep. And we're probably never going to see the end of that book. The Hobbit seemed to apparently went downhill with every movie, which is that's that's unfortunate. They did. They took way too many creative liberties with that. First of all, uh, second of all, you're talking about them taking a book to the big screen that was never actually a book. <laughs> what do you mean? The Hobbit was not technically a book, as I recall, originally. It was more lore that was written up in all of his manuscripts. It was never officially a book. Um, or am I thinking of something else completely wrong? I think you're thinking of something else because I know I had to at least read or listen to the audiobook of The Hobbit. Mm, maybe it was just the rest of the Cimmerillion. Yeah, the Silmarillion was not finished. It was never completed before J.R.R. Right. Tolkien's death. So I think you're thinking of the Silmarillion. I don't uh, the Hobbit it was, actually being a full book originally. Hmm. The Hobbit was... Okay. Unless, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a full book because there was the... Uh, well, and then I am corrected then. No, because I don't have the greatest memory. Um, <clears throat> somebody else memories. says that it was a book. <laughs> I don't know what the f- you're talking about. Books. <laughs> just, 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 yeah. I don't know what the f- books um, are. Oh, here's Some another one. Pictures. Oh. Mortal Kombat. Hey, I like Mortal Kombat. You know what? So did I. You know what? Those those original movies might have been cheesy as fuck, but how how many other movies were cheesy as fuck back in the nineties? Just saying. I mean, there was also the Jackie Chan dressing up as Chun Li, which was ten out of ten best calls player. Oh, that was fucking awesome. That's just weird. See, see guys, see chat. Oni and I agree on stuff, contrary to popular belief of what's going on in the chat. Um, uh, I've what never seen any disagreements there. <laughs> oh, I mean, Street Fighter. <laughs> Street Fighter. Oh, you got you gotta love Jean Claude Van Damme as Guile, right? I mean, <laughs> yeah, that was some tall ass <laughs> hair though. <laughs> and the only reason why uh, I can't remember his name played Bison was because his son really loved the Street Fighter, and he was actually dying of colon cancer mm-hmm. when he was playing Bison, but he played it for his son as his, as a request. He looked. Son. He looked awesome, though. It, it looked like I've cool. seen screenshots. Yeah. I, I will, Damn! I will definitely give credit where credit is due. While the Street Fighter movies, um, all of them were absolutely cheesy and and campy, just, yeah, real campy. I uh, look. I like bad movies too. Okay. <laughs> and hey, the costumes. The, Those costumes were pretty costu- damn good. Here's the thing about m- the magic about movie costumes. Even when it's a campy movie. It works. It it works. Like, could we make a Chun Li costume look sexier, look more realistic, more luxurious with with clothing styles today? Yeah. But is it gonna always feel like Chun Li if you're really just going for the '90s aesthetic of legs for miles, um, <laughs> tiny little There's waist? That- female yeah, no. Chinese bodybuilder that cosplay as Chen Li. She looked exactly like her. It was amazing. Like she had the thick ass legs, like the like the quads and shit. Uh it yeah. Perfect. It it look it was like a dead ringer for the video game character. I love that. I love it when like a cosplayer looks exactly like the person they're cosplaying. I find it amazing that it's um, done so well and accurate, even when they're not like Yaya Han does a perfect Jessica Rabbit, dead on perfect. 
you just got to appreciate all the work they put into it. Oh yeah. I okay. Yes. I just I have some personal things against Yaya Han. Oh, you're not okay. the only well, one. I've just used her as you're an example. As... No, I, I, I understand. Yeah. I mean, you know, she, she is She's kind of... She's a very a... well-known, very popular cosplayer, but she also has a dark history of um, mistreatment of fans. Yeah, as <clears throat> well as, as gatekeeping regarding costuming, and then also she has a fabric line. Now, I don't know how much control she has over that, it could just be they slap her name on it and she gets royalties from it. In which case, that's not much control. But it's not known for its quality and has certainly given people allergic reactions from the cloth used. So, you know, it's not great. Good. Not um, good if you're killing your fans. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if anyone's died, but rashes, yeah, that's not exactly what you should be getting from your fabric. Um, right. But yeah, no, with Halo... I have very low hopes. Again, these people are trying to push an agenda. Do you want to push an agenda? Make your own story. Make your own lore. Stop breaking what's already there. there there's a reason why certain things work. There's, And there's a reason why certain things that get remade don't do as well. It's because it tells the time... It tells the story of the time and place it was made in, or the time and place it's reflective of. Yep. There's, there is something to be said about that. So with the new Nosferatu movie being made, don't know how well that's going to do. Because back then, movie magic was a little bit different. For yeah, starters, it was all it, optical effects, yeah. It, it was all black and white, optical effects. You really had to... You didn't have any wiggle room when it came to, you know, the amount of film you literally had. You had to get the shot. And it was very much like theater. It was still very, very much like a stage performance. Whereas with these movies now, there's a lot of fix it and post or we'll do this, that and the other. It's losing By the, the way, magic. Keith, Keith was saying that was getting old when Hero was doing it in the recordings. He's like, it's getting a little old now. Like, he said it three times in a row. He's like, yeah, it's because we did it in lives. It's fresh in his head. He's like, <laughs> fix it and post. I'm like, he goes, he just laughs. He's like, it's getting old. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, all right, I'll let him know. <laughs> so I just, I don't have any hopes for this. Right. It's probably going to be preachy about, oh, women in the military. But you know what's not preachy? Last week's video of us talking about 10 years in games and how it brought us all together. I Yay. think as a special treat, since we got done a little bit early tonight, is to show last week's video on the live. What do you guys think? Why not? And then we'll, and then we'll, we'll call it a night a little bit early and maybe Chieftain can get eight hours of sleep. Uh, that's wishful thinking in general though yeah oh, eight, eight hours in one sitting or like divvy it up oh uh, i do day? get a, i'm a i'm a tumbler i'm a tumbler so yeah but, uh, tumblerina so oh so this is this is 10 years in gaming and how we got all together this is a 17 minute video so there's only eight people that saw it on our youtube channel i was what one of them going on what is going on we've been having problems getting our views back up have we tried Cialis? Oh, it works well. You just need 10 milligrams and you're good to go. Um, yep. But yeah, you guys, uh, check this out. And if you want to see more videos, make sure you go to youtube.com slash lagging out. And uh, make sure you subscribe and comment and tell your friends. It would be greatly appreciated. We do a, we put a lot of work into this stuff, guys. So we really appreciate it when you guys do com excuse me, comment and uh, like and subscribe. And don't forget to bang that bell. <laughs> At the top right hand corner of your screen. So yeah, let's let's watch this guys. Let's see what people think about it in the chat. What's up everybody? This is Chieftain and I'm here again with the American heroes known as Hero and Black Light Oni. And you're watching Lagging Out. Two weeks ago when I had a six foot long beard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the party pooper. Just you gotta you gotta love you gotta love Oni's hero pose right there. It's just like da 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 da. Truth, justice, and the American way. 
what? actually the Wonder Woman pose, as it's called, <laughs> where you have your hands on your hips, you know, you have your feet about knee, knees, shoulder width apart, actually is shown to increase uh, your confidence if you oh, do wow. it for like two Interesting. minutes or so. Yeah, so if you have a fear of public speaking, try it out. I'm not saying it's a band-aid solution, but it will give you a little bit of a boost. <laughs> That's so motivational speaking from Oni. And and believe it or not, Oni has more or less came out of her shell. If you guys, like I talked about it last week on our show, is where she was kind of quiet and very reserved. But now she's very, she's very out there and very vocal and very, very engaging. And we, we love this new Oni. What do you think, Hero? Absolutely, hundred <laughs> percent. The the confident the cut there through our seven thousand subscribers that we had ten for five years. out of ten would consume product again. <laughs> She's amazing. <laughs> She's a nerd. Huge. Ten she out of ten. The Scotch tape of legging out. She brings everybody together, and then Hero actually fixes all the IT stuff. So without <laughs> these two amazing guys. There'd be no lives. There'd be no podcast. There'd be no content because Chief would be here by himself hanging himself. <laughs> <laughs> Probably you know, with a broken USB cable. You know, I feel, I feel like... I, I like to think I have a positive impact on, it, on all you guys. But go ahead, Hero. I, I feel Which like... is our first subject, um, how LOE has impacted us. But go ahead. I, I feel like, I feel like you're, you're projecting or at least foreshadowing your... your what you have to say, but I think Oni should, oh, should yeah, lead off by accident. <laughs> yeah, oh, totally, boy. totally, totally. So before the recording, I was like, oh, the subjects, because Oni does all the producing. So she she actually uh, said, okay, the first hard. subject for this, guys, is how <laughs> lagging out has impacted us. And I'm like, ooh, I don't know. She's like, do you want me to go first? And I'm like, what? Yeah, <laughs> please go first, because I need to think, because I got to think about 10 years of stuff. <laughs> and I know Hero would have an always, an always a great, he would always have a great response, and I'm gonna like frame go last and just totally really fuck well. it up. So I'm just <laughs> having that fear right now. But uh, uh, Miss Oni, how as because we like we love we love, to, blah, 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 blah. we love talking about ourselves. We Words love talking about ourselves, or I do. But uh, Oni, so the question that you made for yourself, I guess, and everybody else would be, how has lagging out impacted you? It's impacted me a lot, and I mean, okay, yeah, stereotype, blah, blah, uh -oh. blah, 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 whatever. I really didn't give that much of a shit about streaming, or, you know, what was going on with uh, Twitch or a lot of these online communities, because I wasn't a part of them. I was very much kind of this, this little circle that I have is, this is my circle, there are many like it, but this one is mine. <laughs> but Every time I hear you that, say that. <laughs> Now that I'm part of lagging out, now that I've been part of lagging out for jacket. five years now, five fucking years. Five years feels like yeah. fifty, but it was only been five. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, um, I mean, I, in a way, this is my community. I don't, I don't really commune with a lot of outside people outside of work. I very much, I like my circle. I know what I can do, but. Coming out here with you all, um, it's it's special in a way I, I can't really properly describe. You're not gonna cry, are you? No. I'm not crying. You're crying. Lagging out has okay. been there. <laughs> Ouch. Lagging Try out. Try to describe it in in 45 seconds. You were my friends. You were not my alive. friends throughout the the pandemic, which is crazy to say. Um, you know, I, I have a schedule with you all. We've made friends in the Discord chats that we never would have expected. We've apparently reached people across the world. I never would have thought yeah. I would have been able to do that. That's and pretty crazy. It, it is crazy. And I've I've made I've we're made so many good Denmark. good friends. <laughs> we're, Denmark, we're Denmark, Australia <laughs> somehow. You know, they, they like us there. Um, yeah. you know, and now Friday nights on Lagging Out Live, you guys come to see us. I don't know what could possibly impact you to make you torture yourself for several hours on Friday night <laughs> watching us three assholes. Torture yourself like Good promotion. But you yeah. do. And Nobody has means... confirmed whether or not he is not an AI. <laughs> I, I, I have never... I, I'm just assuming he's part of, like, the, the metaverse. No, you need so. to run a Turing test on him. You need to run the Turing test. You gotta run a Turing test And make sure, make sure he is not also Wait. running the Turing test 
as They're talking about me when I'm not even there. If you uh, played Doom, if you yes. played the first Doom, maybe if you showed up, you would be able to join us. Love you. I work. You know, but I just, I could never have imagined any of this would be possible. Not like we're talking shit about you. I'm oh, forever no, grateful. Funny. Because what? You guys are talking about me and I'm not there? <laughs> Just for being a part of Lagging Out, because you are a part of Lagging Out. You watch us, oh, you support us by watching these videos, by joining the Discord chats, by the joining the Twitch streams, and it means more than it does. than just our singular lives. It connects us. And that's I am a real person. That's maybe. something so maybe. special and so human. He and says with no times, intonation. There's not a lot of humanity left, so let's increase that. And not by killing all these demons like you do in Demon Souls. <laughs> Although I that love awesome. to kill demons. That was really good. Look, she smiled. She, she fucking smiled. You see that? I... <laughs> she set a high standard. Thanks. You know, you're, supposed to, like, you're supposed to have someone like that in cleanup, not lead off. So now it's just like, oh my god, the That's pressure is on to for you, Hero. Yeah, see, this is where you guys go. Put it somewhere else. <laughs> Tell Keith to put it somewhere else. Our hey, we're gonna fix Keith, that in post. Way. And he did yes. not. <laughs> there it no, is. he did not. Can you make me look pretty in post? <laughs> Hates me like one but of hero, your French hero, girls. <laughs> hero must have like a whole bunch of stuff. For his I, first thing he should be grateful for is me. That's, all the time. that's what I'm assuming where all this is time. going. We we made this official on la last episode, though, Chief. Remember? <laughs> yes, yes, we did. And they say chivalry is dead. <laughs> <laughs> Shiver, he's dead. No, but uh, kidding aside, uh, Hero, it feels like a Thanksgiving show. What, <laughs> right? you, what, what has LOE, what is lagging out, and how is it, how is LOE I impacted look so fat. You? Oh, you know what? It allows me to- Don't tempt me. Awesome no, okay. That is joking, true. Joking aside, joking aside. He is the beautifully bearded bastard, as I, we like to introduce him sometimes as. I will- Beardered. I, I, I can't say it enough that I enjoy- doing stuff for lagging out um things started off kind of slow for me in lagging out because we haven't lost a viewer something <laughs> going on we'd have these yet and it'd be like herding cats we gained two more thank you <laughs> and then some deviations happened in the community what is up and with the cat I I don't want to say that's when my time actually okay. started in lagging out but sometimes cat. lagging out was herding cats meaning so much oh. is because if I were to be honest, I really wanted to help because I saw how I, I saw what this and, and this is I might be divulging too much. I saw this what this was doing to you, Chief. I saw what was happening and I didn't like it and I really My soul to was help. dying and with wanted, every video I made. Know, I could <laughs> tell that you were two hundred cuts for the um tacular. So that's why I harassed the if so can guess the right amount of cuts, I'll give them a prize. Um, if I could say anything about well, I'm going to try. Can the cliche, phrase too many heart, suffice? It means a lot <laughs> to me to be able to help somebody, especially somebody that I care about. Or can I just submit the, um... <laughs> because you feel he's deserving of it. Come at me, I fucking dare you. They're ta you're talking I, about I me, shut up. I can't say <laughs> much else about it outside of that. I... I love to help. He's deserving he of it, Oni said. It's the only compliment she gave. That is, that's my soapbox. That's I'm standing. That, I'm standing by that. That's my statement. These are my people. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a nerd. Well, that was very humbling and uh, kind of disarming. <laughs> for me. You look. I, I can see you squirming, and, and Chief. I don't. I can see you squirming. Well. I think that's something that me and Oni I am, actually. A little bit have in common a lot more than other people and yeah it, it's true you guys really don't know how to take compliments and, and I when know, you try it's, to it's, then you try to you try to fight it off with a joke and i just gotta like grab you by the shoulders and say shut up and take it it's weird because it's like you're i don't know if it's a social anxiety thing or if it's i wasn't used to it early in my professional career but now like in from my mid-30s to my 40s it's weird because even when I'm working on a video game and my art director's like, that looks fucking perfect. And I'm just like, happens all the time. What? <laughs> uh, sort of says you like, did a good job. He's, he's, he's like, we don't have to it. give you any direction. Here's another <laughs> shot. Here's, and I'm just like, I'm kind of like thrown aback because when I was working at a, a subsidiary of Disney, I was knocked down so hard, like from the stress. I was, I went in at 200 pounds and left at 172 from the stress. I'm sick. True story. 
I would so, love like, if I was that happened to me. Constantly getting reprimanded. I needed for to happen again. No, that I didn't, that no. The stress on your heart would do way for, more damage like than would be worth it. Stuff. So compliments were the like stress really on my heart for so. my fat is causing uh, problems. I think Thank it you. Probably has. <laughs> you're welcome. I want to leave a beautiful corpse. It probably corpse. also has a lot to do with. <laughs> I fuck? think when it comes to helping. Have you tried this fancy process called embalming? Regard and soda included, but he's not not here today, unfortunately. Um, yeah, but we'll try to get them on. Got nothing I for think that. All yeah. three of us are of that personality type that really have a drive to help people. And yeah, I'm not trying to toot my own. I think horn that reflects well that. in our lives as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to toot my own horn in saying that. It's just something about always helping, assume good intentions. Something about me helping somebody. I've always, always felt that is something that I. Must do or want it was to just a mistake. He forgot to take it out. Absolutely. I mean, you guys served in the military, so there is some element of trying to help people when you're defending our country. So let's kind of kind of ingrained in you. I wouldn't say brainwashed, but ingrained. <laughs> but I think you guys had that way before you were in the military. Was it the military actually amplified those feelings to that's help people? So I mean, that's true. a good thing. And I think mine. Uh, I think I started with with like when 9/11 happened initially you guys were very young at the time. I uh donated my time oh, and uh gave money to the U uh was it the New York Widows and Orphans Fund and like before I like not even started. So like I never talk about it because I don't feel like I again I hate talking about stuff like this. I love but talking I did get about the letter I get, did get letters from the president the president of the United States, the vice president and my congressman for doing it. I'm but awesome. I don't think you guys knew that. I don't really talk about it that much because I don't it's kind of braggadocious to do so, but right. we're on the subject, so it kind of like as far as says helping people, we and do it. And, um, I think the most important thing we all do is not keep score. Meaning, uh, you did all these nice things, I got to do the same amount of nice things back. <laughs> you don't want to keep score when you're doing stuff like that. And um, no, what has um, impacted me is the people that were here. I kind of came out of my shell a little bit as well. Not um, with when us. I though. was an assistant host of Blacking Out and a co-founder. I had a and um, the host left, and I had to take the reins um, on season two and season three. I didn't. I didn't have a lot of people skills. I didn't know how to speak to people. Fake so um, there's little things there, like talking to different people from different social backgrounds, races, this um, is, genders, whatever. Um, um, I'm Keith grateful fucked for the up, people that and I didn't check his video for that time. If, if it was just for two weeks or it's been for ten years, I'm grateful for all the people, all the viewers, all the Discord. People, the people who gave us donations that we don't even ask for, I'm grateful for. I told them about it. It's like, well, you didn't check it. I, it's like, I think I didn't have to. Post <laughs> our, our lives, for God's sake. We were talking about this a couple of weeks ago where it's there for a got, while. We're starting to get people hosting us. And I'm like, to me, not be able to take a compliment that well, that's like, wow. Like, these communities are very positive and they're long. sharing that's our stupid little lives on Fridays. That's kind of humbling. And it's like it means that okay, we're making a positive impact, like you guys said, all over the world. We're big in Denmark <laughs> and um, Australia. Free beer, free beer. We have people watching us all over the world. So that positivity, and I'm not saying it happened overnight because I was an asshole for a long time, and something dramatic had to happen at lagging out for me to say, look upon myself and say, make improvements to myself as a person. And once I did that, I think more people. Like you attract more people with thank honey you, honey vinegar, badger, so so to speak. So to wrap it up, yes, I'm grateful for everybody here, here, and everybody who's ever joined, contributed, um, thank spread you our for stuff around, marketed, out what it is. bought our shirts, mugs, and stuff. It's like it's it was a stupid little idea ten years ago, and you guys made it happen, and like we're completely blessed about that. We have another subject, but we'll probably save that for next week because <laughs> we're running a little late. So and um closing uh, closing comments for you guys really quick. Anything Thanks. that you want to wrap up? Look forward to I think another I wrapped 10 it up pretty years. Well, but go ahead. Um, we look forward to another 10 years. Uh, we're, even oh, if all you oof. do is lurk. Even if all you do is lurk. Yes. You, you keep on lurking. <laughs> you can lurk. You. Shout you out can to twerk the while you lurk. So that, 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 that's fine too. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, we appreciate the lurks, the, the comments, the likes, the subscribes. Even if you don't Hero's subscribe and you watch us, we appreciate it too. Hero? Yeah. Um, so if if there if we were talking about who we're grateful for, future hero, I think we've comment. all said it. Grateful for our viewers, people that participate, people that watch us, even if you don't say anything. The only reason we've been around and been able to be be around as long as we have is because of fans. 
then that's one of the number one things that I yeah. harp on when it comes We're grateful to for that. When it comes to entertainment, it's the fans that make. I like it when Oni makes that heart logo. Successful. That you and guys the finger. are amazing. You guys, you're huge. You guys watching us. You guys consuming our product. <laughs> you guys buying our stuff, donating, there what you have you. It's calling us out on our shit. Yes, that's <laughs> right. It makes us better. As hard as I criticize big names like Disney, big names like Microsoft <laughs> and PlayStation or Sony, every as much as week. I do that, every week. I expect the same level of critique for me and for us so that we can get better. Right. We get we better because will make gaming entertainment great again. We will get again. better because you guys will tell us when we're doing right and when you guys Absolutely. will tell us when we're doing wrong. Uh, and what we're doing right. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be <laughs> awesome. They can't hear you on the chat. But comment, but, um, I think like, that was... subscribe, and bang that bell. <laughs> Hero, that was fucking perfect, dude. You guys, I don't even need to be on the show anymore. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you guys hey, need no, to show better anymore. Stay. Bye. I'm out. <laughs> You don't need me anymore. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> You're tired. Okay. I'm old. I'm and old. Also, just like Hero. So eloquent. eloquent I say that all the time. Don't, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe at the links below. And don't forget to bang that bell at the top right-hand corner of the screen so you never miss an episode of Lagging Out. So on behalf of the beautifully bearded bastard, Hero, and our own very pocket-sized Wonder Woman, Blacklight Oni. Yeah. This is Chieftain. Signing off. And lagging out. <laughs> I can lip sync the whole fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> See what you guys are missing? That's us all edited. Look how good we are on this fucking channel. We're amazing. It, that's this what is happens when we get me out. Actinova says. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what I don't know what this was, Chieftain. But that's like strike a pose, like Vogue. <laughs> it was so Think funny. Me like Vogue, one of your Vogue, French Vogue, girls. Vogue, 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 strike a pose, strike a pose, <laughs> like Madonna. Come on, man. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> you you just had to say it, and I was like, oh. He was one of the backup oh. dancers. The, the blonde ambition <laughs> one. Oh no. Oh. What um, Oni was saying, guys, and you didn't hear in the chat because I muted our um, connection there, but she's like, we should do an end of the year roast. And I'm like, oh my God. Uh, I just had a terrible thought about Madonna. <laughs> oh. She's aging, Every like, she's aging like fine. <laughs> Sorry. I can't. She's aging, she's aging like fine cheese. Yeah, because she, and she's gotten more work done than some of these video game updates. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh <fuck. laughs> wow. I can't get to the clip fast enough. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Madonna's like, I've often thought about blowing up, lagging out. <laughs> like, wait a minute. What do you mean blowing? No. <laughs> No, no. She'll not give if you the gift that. Can... Not if you paid us. <laughs> right. Oh, dropping loads. Anyways. Oh God. She looks. She doesn't actually look that bad. I saw her a couple of years ago. She doesn't uh, look that bad from afar, but when you get close <laughs> or she gets close-ups done, you can see all the work now. It's like, oh my God. How much don't of judge hers? unless you be judged. Well, I haven't had any work done. I mean, keep I have. Out. I've had plastic surgery, but people would often say, uh, "Were you trying to get a too. bigger ass, or were you just trying to get some excess fat and skin removed?" Because those are two uh, very different fat, things. Uh, uh, liposuction and a tummy tuck, actually. Yeah, but be. that's that's not exact. I'm, is it plastic surgery? Yes, sure. Is it the same level that she's gotten? No. How many times yeah, have plastic <laughs> things been stuck in her? Uh, don't answer that. I was going <laughs> to say, gonna say really I'm like, uh, um, she probably got a nice collection. I don't. I mean, I don't even know if probably she's... some antiques too. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <sighs> All right. <laughs> 
Who wants to go watch Star Trek Fleet Company, watch someone stream that, or Dead by Daylight, or Just Chat just chatting with I, Melissa. Which one do you think we should raid? Uh, I, uh, hmm. Who have we not visited recently? Uh, we visited Tate the last two times. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We haven't gotten back likes plants in a while. We haven't gotten its nay in a while either. We could raid its nay. She's playing Jackbox Party. Oh, that shit's always fun to watch. Oh yeah. Good luck going to bed. In bed now, guys. Meanwhile, That's I'm fucking gonna... funny though. Um, let's see. Uh, I gotta type it. In. I got a little pond to put to bed. Oh no. All right, we are. Give me a oh, second. No. We oh, can no, do Brian. our demise. What? It's Tay, right? That's what we're doing. Uh, it's uh, nay, not it's Tay. It's nay. There's, there's, nay. there's, there's two of them. That's confusing. Now I see why I you know, made right? a mistake last time. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to type underneath my fat gut. It's nay live. I think that's who it is. Okay. Thanks for joining us for another exciting week in, in gaming news after St. Patrick's Day. <clears throat> Right. We're now, um, honestly, I'd say we're now getting more gaming news on the lives than we were recently. Yay. Well, because the pandemic, it, people are basically sick of the pandemic and they just want more video games that don't suck. <laughs> right. It's kind of hard to find shit that don't suck these days, I guess. Well, Most of them just... Next week, so. so on behalf of Black Light Oni... And hero. And soda pop. I'm Jason. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for coming to see us. And we will see you guys next week. Thank you for all the love. And thank you for calling us awesome. And we'll see you next week. Don't forget to go to our YouTube channel. And comment, like, and subscribe. Please, show us love there, too. I promise we do cool shit there. Yep. Make sure you let It's Nay You Came From The Lag and Out Leash and, and stay there for a couple of minutes. We'd appreciate it. Until next week, guys, this is Chieftain and Lag and Out. Signing off and Lag and Out. Bye. But when I'm on a streak, lag compensation's always poning me. Yeah. My bandwidth is boss. I even pay extra for my OS. 18 up and down still got me nervous because the game acts like I'm still in service. Why? Oh, I'm gonna fuck commercial. <laughs> uh. Okay. Oh Lord. Wow. Lord. Guys. You raided and got a commercial. Thanks. <laughs> oh shit. That's some bullshit. Two commercials. Not just one commercial. I get two commercials. Damn it, Twitch. They're really hurting for that money. Yeah. You know, why doesn't Netflix just do, like, an ad, like, every time, like, instead of asking, Are you still watching? Just run an ad. Because then someone can go to the bathroom. That'll probably click in their head. Oh, I need to go pee. Right. Solves your mic, bro. Better than popping up and say, are you still watching? No. Yes, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I plan on dying on this couch. Read me alone. It's worse that they do it twice. Like, you can do it twice in like six hours. It's like, come on. I bought those string lights that she has in her background. I bought those. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put them closer together. And put them in my Star Wars wall so it like illuminates the wall and put reflectors behind it so it amplifies the light. So that way it actually looks like a Star Wars wall. Go check out the amazing streamer. Oh, she just gave us a shout out. Oh, big one. Yep. Chieftain, I am sorry I lost my shit on you. 
Um, That's okay. Are you kidding? That was gold. That was, a, that was well, great. I was wondering I, why you were jumping all over me because I was trying to explain it, and then I was just like, I'm not saying I wasn't saying every twin, but I think it's because you're tired. I you mean, do that when you're tired. It's yeah, okay. but also I am so sick of. I heard it a lot growing up from random people. That's what it sounds like. like yeah. From you know, like I mean, maybe some of them are joking, but it's like we are not identical. That is not how no. genetics works. And then it's like it's in one ear, out the other. They just were like, so it's like that's not how twins work. <laughs> not every set of twins is identical. Some of them are from you know, if it's from a separate egg. With separate, you know, like placentas, it's they're not, it's not identical. That's literally not how this works, you know. And so yeah, I, and and yeah, not ha not sleeping well makes me more irritable. So and uh, makes me a little bit more emotional or, or emotionally prone. And I'm sorry. That's okay. I accept your apology. I don't keep. You know what I said in a video? I don't. Uh, we don't keep score. I, know, I fucking but, mean but, that. I don't hold. Still, I don't hold grudges. It, it still wouldn't be right for me to just go. Oh yeah, no, it's probably fine. No, it. Even if I know why I got so upset, doesn't mean I should just. Yeah. Don't. Emotionally vomit on someone. That's that's unnecessary. It makes for good video. It's okay. It does. <laughs> I'm not worried. If I'm not worried about it, you shouldn't be. That's. Little girl. I, I mean, we kind of went a little bit hard on Hero, though. I mean, we uh, we where the the constant roasts. Yeah. Oh no! Like halfway through the stream, I think. I don't remember. Do you remember that Hero? Uh I mean, I do remember the roast, but I really don't care. Oh, it was during the <laughs> IT portion. Oh yeah. Where he's like, oh, I didn't know it was fu it wasn't funny. Like. We're like, well, yeah, no, I didn't was actually, laughing. I didn't he didn't actually, actually tell that. a joke. Yeah, that I was the funny part. Like, we're like, we had we had a <laughs> roll with it because it was alive, but <laughs> it was it, like, it was I, like, I really, I was like, that that wasn't a joke. I didn't. What there why? was like, there was no win situation. <laughs> we can say uh, we already know that you were pissed, so we just kind of went okay. Like, we just, <laughs> just had a hero ticket. Like, like hero doesn't keep score either. So I mean, <laughs> you don't care. If we kept score, we wouldn't be doing this. So, oh, that's a cute picture of your kid with the helmet on. Oh yeah, that was uh, that's the CVC helmet from the Bradleys. Right. Ma maybe right. maybe Oni would recognize uh, the CVC Phoenix baby. Put, put it down. Put it down. At the CDC. <laughs> yeah, the the CVC she might recognize. I don't know if she was ever. Oni, have you ever been in a uh, Bradley? Uh, no. It's... And I found out apparently <clears throat> the Marines got rid of their tank divisions. What? Yeah, like what the fuck? We we th that's our fun shit. Give it back. <laughs> Budget cuts can't be that bad. I mean, apparently they are. Um, where yeah. did you put it? Well, when you have a president that doesn't give a shit about you. Oh, you mm. must have shared it in the. Uh... Yeah, that's your story too. Where did I share it at? I'm not. Seeing it in any of the photo areas. I didn't put it in the photo area. I put it in the general staff. Um, oh. maybe that's why I don't see it. I'm not sure. Oh, that's cute. Uh, Rican's close to the 20k.